You know what? Enough of that. I've been I've been delayed for too long today. I need to get my face on the interwebs. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining in today. Today's an amazing day. It's Wednesday. Wednesday's just always a good day, right? Wednesday's just Wednesday's you know the middle of the week. You get all your stuff done for the most part, and you have the rest of the week to relax. Maybe I don't know. That's not how it works for me anyway. So, Latro, hello. How are you doing? Uh, I just wanted to apologize once again for being basically an hour late to my own stream. Ah. I deeply apologize. Sorry, I got, I got, I like rushed dinner when I got home. Rocket Star, hello, hello. Thunderfin salute as always. So I do apologize. Like I said, I was an hour late. Uh, my, so here, let me give you the quick rundown of how my job goes. Okay, on Wednesdays, uh, I'm I'm a Pepsi vendor. For any of you guys that don't know, I go to I go from store to store to store, stock shelves, write orders, all that stuff for you know, Pepsi, soda, woo. Um, and today I went to my first account. My truck was delayed by like an hour, so I sat there for an hour waiting for my load to show up. Then turns out part of my load didn't even get shown up. And for a reference, uh, it was like 30 or 40 cases for a display that I had to put up today. And my boss is like, no, it needs to go up. Just go and pick it up from the plant. So what I did is I, I drove from the store that I'm right currently at, like 45 minutes to the plant to pick up these, you know, 30, 40 cases, drive 40 minutes back to the store to put them up, get them signed in and received, then drive 40 minutes back to the plant to hand in the paperwork because if you do a demand or whatever they're called, you literally have to physically hand in the paperwork because the driver doesn't take it back because, you know, the driver goes back to the plant. Who would have thought? So I had to go back to the plant before like three o'clock when the receiving for us was down or done. So I had to drive back there. Then I drive back to my town another 40 minutes to go work like two stores. Mud Turtle, how's it going? To go work two stores. Then I had to drive an hour to my last account. So like I literally tacked on probably almost two hours just in like driving, maybe more than that, just in driving, unnecessarily driving. And I had to do a whole bunch of other stuff. So I'm just like, this day is going on so long. Usually Wednesdays, I'm home by like 3, like 2.30, 3 o'clock. And then on my way home, of course, I hit like major rush hour traffic because it's like 4.30 or 5 o'clock. So I'm sitting in rush hour, like bumper to bumper traffic for like another half hour. It was just, ugh, so, so disappointing. I'm kind of wondering why my subscriber badges aren't up. I put them in... What is going on? How long does it take for the badges to take effect? I just now noticed that everyone in chat is a subscriber. You know what's really funny? On my OBS, on my OBS, the chat has you all with my nice little sub badge. But on Twitch, on Twitch, there's, uh, there's no such thing. There's no such thing. Kind of sad. Kind of sad. You, you guys deserve it. You guys deserve those badges. Oh, Teriyaki Fish Gang. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. So, um... Unexpected. I mean, hopefully they'll be up later. Maybe it just takes a little while to get in. The badges are in for everyone in the chat from your view. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Maybe it's just me then. I don't know. That's sad. Um, like I said, they're in my OBS. They're in my OBS. They're just, like, literally not on Twitch. And I don't know if I have to, like, maybe close Twitch. Let me just close Twitch and reopen Twitch. Maybe that's what I'll do. If the OBS is still open, I can still read the chat. Just Twitch is not open. So let me just, like, reopen Twitch here. Because I want to see it. I want to see all your pretty little, all your pretty little badges that I, that I was able to get on there for you. Anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, show you the badges of what I did uh, for the quick artwork and whatnot. Um, so, so the reason, the reason these took so long, Wranglethor, hey, I'll, okay, now, all I did was close Twitch, all I did was close Twitch, now it's back up, awesome, so, uh, as, as I said in my Discord today, I will show you the, the sub badges of, that I worked on for a little bit, um, so you guys will know what you'll progress into, and the reason, the reason it took me so long is because I used very similar assets to play fusions that I wanted to make sure that I wasn't like close to copyright or anything like that. 
because everyone knows what their uh, their ranking system is with those nice little badges that they have, like shields. I essentially took that idea and just remodified the shape of the shield and redid the colors, like not right out of what they did, but I did my own colors. And then I, I literally took the bottom banner for the nice upgraded badges and just tacked those on there. So, because it is a small shape, and I wanted to make sure that the insignia was matched and saw throughout everyone else. So, without further ado, any of you guys that are a uh, just a, a sub to me for one to three months, you get this sweet little ditty here. See how it's essentially the same the same badge as uh, Play Fusion's ranking system. This is the base badge. This is the base one. You don't even say. I think this is like the unranked shield that they have. My shield's obviously a little differently shaped. Theirs is like a, a very broader shape. Mine is like cur more curved in, so it doesn't take up as much space. I, honestly, I wish I could use their shields. Their shields look so much better than the ones that I came up with. But I did this in like, you know, quick threw in some colors and whatnot in Photoshop, and and made something so I could have sub badges. If you are with me for three months, if you're with me for three months. You get to go to copper. You get to get a nice, nice little copper shield with my my little logo over it. Isn't that awesome? I thought that was pretty awesome. After copper, everyone, I think you know it's silver. It's silver. It's literally my badge. And then I took their little bottom insignia here, and I, that's pretty much what I've been doing for these badges. I took their the their color schemes, put my badge over it, my logo, and just kept the bottom color. And obviously, after I think this is the six month mark, the nine month mark is this sweet little ditty of a gold badge. Boom. I think that one is probably like my favorite looking one. Gold is. It looks super cool, so, ooh, beautiful. Nine months after a year, after a year, I think it's, I think it's platinum. I think it goes to platinum, which is this nice little one here. So this is the one year mark. Looks very similar in color scheme to silver, other than the nice little star and banner at the bottom. And then after the one year, uh, will it work if you resub every month with prime sub? Uh, Latro, yes it will. Uh, I think with the prime subs, there's like a, uh, a three to seven day grace period where you where you have a time chance to resub and still continue your prime subs because uh, i know prime sub like you, like i said doesn't auto renew so you have to come in and renew it but i do think there is that nice grace period so you can still keep your um your trending sub because i think they actually fixed that like right away because everyone was like i'm a prime sub but like i missed one day and now i'm back all the way down to to one month that's kind of weird so they did fix that so don't worry about that and then, I think this is the, what, the two-year mark? No, this is the one-year mark. Two-year is diamond. Ooh, I love that color. That's a nice little color. Nice little color for two years. And then three years is master. And I figure, you know, heck, right now, getting three years is fine. This is all the badges they were able to send me for the color schemes. Um, so if you get three years, you guys become a master of my channel. So if you can't rank up in Lightseekers by this, you can rank up by just sticking with me. That's a little. That's a little added bonus. You can clarify that. No, 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 I'm, I'm a gold. I haven't played ranked at all, but I'm gold. I'm gold. So uh, hopefully they come up with more badges. If not, I'll have to come up with some pretty interesting color schemes. Maybe just do something more with stars down here to keep going with this aspect after the three year mark. Because I'm hoping to keep streaming after three years. I want to continue this badge theme. Mud turtle. I mean. I can either confirm or deny that. RG Master card, card Sleeve back, please. Dude, if, if I had that RG symbol with the Masters thing and put it on a card back, that'd be so sick. That would be so sick. Oh, man. I mean, there's a lot of cool artwork that I want to do for, like, card sleeves, card mats, and everything like that, so... I'm, I'm, I'm still looking in the process. Like, to get those mats custom-made... Just for, like, one of them is, like, 30 bucks. So if I wanted to... I'd have to figure out a way to, like, buy them in, like, major bulk to get a discount price. And then sell them at a price where I would at least make somewhat of a profit on it. Uh, I, I just don't know where to do that. If you guys know where I can do that, that'd be awesome. That'd be sweet to do. Because, um, yeah, I want to make, like, uh, card backs. Um, I want to make, like, physical card play, play mats. I think that'd be really cool for, like, my... Uh, my actual gaming uh logo wow i could not think of that word ah. um but yeah there's there's a lot of things rolling around in my head i just got to find a way to buy it in a way where i can sell it at a, at a good enough price where it competes with 
uh, other play mats. Um, you have a vendor for bulk play mats. You don't say Cowboy Hat Valor. D me and you need to talk. Me and you will have a discussion about that. That thing, that's awesome. If there's a guy who I can get bulk play mats for a decent price and then sell them. Like I said, I don't want to sell... I, I'm going to hopefully not sell them for more than what like the Play Fusion playmats are because I don't want mine to be more expensive than the ones that the company goes for. Like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and not do that as best as I can. But yeah, that'd be awesome. That would be awesome. And then yeah, card sleeves. I mean, card sleeves I think would be really cool. Get my. I have a lot of things I want to put on card sleeves and maybe like deck boxes. Like I have a lot of ideas. I just don't know where to find them, where I can make them and then sell them at a reasonable price that isn't like, hey, I had to physically buy these for like, you know five bucks a pack so i'm gonna sell you ten dollar card sleeve packs it's like that is way too expensive not happening so <laughs> that's just me that's just me though uh so with that being said with that being said i do apologize once again for being like an hour late to my own show i feel so bad i feel so bad some people couldn't tune in because i didn't start at the right time um any other announcements i need to make this Saturday, just for anyone who's here, this Saturday, I will unfortunately not be streaming because I will be going to the Delivery Crab Silver Tournament down in Chicago. So if anyone, anyone would like to come to the TPK Gaming Silver Tournament that Delivery Crab is hosting, I will be there. That's where I will be on Saturday. I'm, I'm going to see, because I know me and my girlfriend got a lot of cleaning, a lot of packing to do. Um, I'm gonna see Mud Turtle. Awesome! Yeah, I saw you were on the sign-up. That's awesome. I hope you can make it, man. Um, I'm gonna see if I can try and get at least a third day in, whether it be like Friday or Sunday. I know I picked up a shift on Sunday because uh, I need money because we're moving and, you know, costs money to move, unfortunately. So I, I am working Sunday, so maybe it'll be like a Sunday evening, Sunday night stream, or maybe like a Friday night. Um, I gotta talk to my girlfriend, obviously, because we have, like I said, we got cleaning, we got packing. So I gotta figure out if I can pull a third week, or a third day this week. Um, and then next week, uh, next week, I, I like all I'm doing is cleaning and packing. So I will still try and do my shows um, Monday and Wednesday. But then Saturday of that week is moving day. So that one I will not be streaming. So the next two weeks... You, I unfortunately will not be available for streaming on Saturdays, and I do apologize for that. Um, but stick with me, because once we get to my new place, I can get a nice new setup. I got a green screen I cannot wait to get put up. Hopefully rework my whole layout here so it's really nice. Really really looking snazzy for you guys. Um, so yeah, I, it's it's about that time of year, you know, when all this fancy stuff is happening. Uh, just stick with me. Hopefully you guys can just, like, tolerate the fact that I... Uh, I'm trying my best to give you these shows from the bottom of my heart. Because <gasps> I love you. I love you guys. You deserve content, and I want to put out content for you. With that being said. Guys, on Monday we talked about a card. A nice little ditty here. A nice little ditty that I was wondering. Could he work? Could he work? Is there a way to make him work? Rotate one step forward when you defend. He has an attack ability to do 8 damage and restart this buff. Obviously, right now, uh, buffs that stick on board are unfortunately really hard to do. Uh, unless you're playing Magrock, where you have just consistent, constant buffs, right? Like, just, they're stuck on the board, that's what you have. Uh, so it's really like, hey, if you want to remove it, you better remove it. And then, of course, this one literally takes... Four, like, two to four turns before you can actually do something. And you have to be careful to not defend on this corner because it will rotate out. This one will just boop, rotate out. Uh, Latra says, love the stream, dude. Wish I could some tips to make ours look more slick like yours. Latra, uh, I mean, I spent probably a good week designing my layout and everything like that before I even went live. I had an idea of what I wanted to do. Spent a lot of time in OBS. Um, and then a little bit, a lot of the bottom board, the entire bottom bar there, I just, I bought a preset pack off of, uh, the OBS website for like 20 bucks. I just bought a pre-made one knowing that I would just use that until I made my own, so. 
It, it doesn't take a whole lot. Uh, you just gotta, you know, be very diligent, spend the time on doing it. And you guys are streaming. You guys are doing really good. I've, I've watched a lot of your shows that I've been trying to catch. I know when I'm at work, so I'll, like, sit in my car during my lunch break and catch your replays. This, they're really good, man. Don't knock it. Don't knock it. You guys are doing great. Uh, but yeah, Royal Bumbler. Look, a lot of the core, a lot of the cards right now say like one to three, they do something, and then on the fourth corner, they do something completely different. This one, literally, it'll rotate out if you defend on its fourth corner. It'll just boop and r just retire, and you're like, "Wow, that was not my intended plan. That went horrible for me." Um, so I saw that, and I was like, "Interesting, interesting." Okay, so I got to find a way to have consistent, you know, defense. What show? Fresh and what are you Team Lemon Ice's stream? Is that what show you're talking about? Team Lemon Ice, uh, they stream I think is it all three of you that uh, stream on essentially the same channel? Or is it because I've I've caught Jaeger and I've caught um It might have been you, actually. It might have been you. Um Latro. Um Yeah. Yeah, so I mean yeah, but if uh if you want to just link your, um, if you want to go ahead and link your Twitch channel in chat, people can go, go to you, check you out, uh, maybe even give you a follow if they haven't already. Um, but yeah, don't. I mean, I've I've caught your stuff. It's really good content. You guys are some of the the top players in the UK right now. So if you want nice competitive play, Goldan, that's okay. Oh, he's like your number one guy, and I couldn't remember his name. That's shameful of me. I do apologize. I'm really bad with names. I'm really bad with names. Even in person, I literally have to like repeat your name almost five times or hang out with you for like five straight hours before it sinks into my brain of who you are unless you're wearing a name tag i do i do apologize for anyone that meets me in the future and i just go hey you it's probably because i literally forgot your name so do not be ashamed you're like wow i didn't remember like, no, no i remember faces i remember faces all too well it's the name it's the name and i feel so bad about that because I, I have i have so many hey buddies hey how you doing man and not enough hey jim how's it going today You wanted to come in and say goodbye. Freshen. It is always a pleasure having you here, even if it is for five minutes. It is always a pleasure. Hopefully you can catch the replays. Hopefully you just catch the YouTube ones and leave comments below. Or just like watch the replays and insert your own comments into the Twitch. I get notified of those. I get notified of those. So I will catch your I'll catch your comments later. Both up with the badge. Hype! Yes. So anyway, back to back to Royal Bumbler. Yes, I do. Uh, if you leave a comment in the Twitch chat on the replays, it'll it'll give me a notification that someone left a comment at a timestamp on a replay, and I can go to that. So if you leave a comment, whether it just be like, misplay, I'll get a comment that you you saw a misplay. Yeah. So feel free to leave chats. I will I will hear them. I will hear them like I hear you, okay? I hear everybody. I love you guys. So Royal Bumbler, it, it literally means that you have to play a lot of defense in the deck that you play them in, right? Um, but like, alongside it, you're gonna spam misplay? Oh my god, if I come home to like 30 notifications within a half hour timestamp, I might read one of them. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding, man. Please don't spam it. I don't know, I have yet to get a spam notification history of like 37 people said misplay at the same time. I'm like, oh god, they're all watching me fail! Be more concise. Stop bumbling. No, I know it was frustrating. I know. I know it was. Bova with the... I think Stop Bumbling is going to be the name of this deck. But <laughs> anyway, we are sidetracking so much right now. Um, we already started an hour late, so woo, hopefully we can stay on track for these three hours. Uh, Royal Bumbler makes you literally want to play a deck that has a lot of buffs. Okay, it has a lot of buffs, because if this is the only buff, this is almost immediately removed, and you're like, well, there goes my 8 damage that I'm going to try and load up to. Um, the defend cards, like, to get up to it, you pretty much want to be able to defend without using abilities. Freshen, have a good night, man. I'll catch you later, okay? Uh, yeah, you want to be able to lay defend cards that are not abilities all the time, so that you can use the attack ability the same turn it rotates to it, right? That's... Like, essentially how this is going to try and work. Um, and in all honesty, I, I saw... I saw um, uh, TPK's Arkmoss deck. 
was very intuitive on the fact that this little card... Now, this card is also not run a whole lot, if almost ever. And I saw it was like, I wonder if I can somehow make this work. I will just somehow make this work, right? Defend abilities. It, it's literally a defend card that triggers all defend abilities in play. Uh, so this is like, this will rotate the, um, the bumbler. It'll rotate the bumbler. Where, oh my god, where is it? It's not, it's an animal. It'll rotate the bumbler once just for the defend card. Then depending on how many defend abilities I have, if I have two, it'll rotate this all the way to this one corner just with that one card. And then I can actually use the attack ability to do eight damage. So I'm like, wow, that is like, that's ingenious. That's, I, I thought that was really cool. Um, and of course, like, I, I went through the items, because, you know, items are the best ways to find abilities. They're the best cards to find abilities on stuff, so that, um, you can use it every turn. It's not a, you know, conditionally rotating buff. You can use it every turn. And there is not a whole lot of good ones other than, other than our good friend, the Tome. Our good friend, the Tome. I mean, there, there's there's the poison one that's to defend, but that's superior, so I can't really run that. Um, I mean, I could, I could just run the Venom Soaker, but I do think that I definitely want the Tome in here for card draw, because if I'm also trying to be spamming the board with buffs, I am going to want to have some sort of card draw engine, right? I'm gonna want some sort of engine. So, I figured we would just start building this deck. We would just start building it with the the heart and soul that is the reason we're building today with Royal Bumbler, right? Royal Bumbler, mwah, beautiful card, beautiful card. Uh, with that being said, Flynamo, Bova, what would I do without you? Oh my God, guys! If if I ran Flynamo. Oh, that also gives me access to time, doesn't it? That is, that's dirty. Oh, that's so dirty. Rotate it forward. I could rotate Royal Bumbler forward twice with this thing. That is dirty. Oh. And the tone. Uh, Lachro, yes, Sampeding Tusker is a defendability on, on, a, on a buff. And it's a consistent buff out, uh, which means it'll also warrant uh, buff removal. So, with that being said... Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, with Flynamo? Yeah, it'll because it, the defendability will make it rotate, and then Flynamo... You can choose which one of your buffs you want to rotate further. Oh! So literally, literally just with Flynamo and the the Mantix card that I was that I was talking about, that I was like, the Mantix Weavers, all I need is Flynamo and a Mantix Weaver, and Mantix Weaver will rotate the Royal Bumbler all the way to his final corner. Oh, God. That's going to be really tricky to do. Because if I have both items out, I'm going to need a second buff for Royal Bumbler not to just, woo, right off the board. <laughs> that, that in its own right is hilarious to me. Just with those two items and then Mantix Weaver, just make it go, wee, and just Royal Bumbler rotates four times. Unless I have another buff out. Oh, man. Oh, man. I mean, yeah, that, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. I, have to, I literally have a second buff out for Flynamo not to rotate the Royal Bumbler. So, and then, of course, I can only use the Mantix Weaver when Royal Bumbler is... So, like, if I if I run Flynamo, let me just let me just say this. If I run Flynamo, do I just not run the Tome uh, and just have Flynamo be my, be my item and then run other defend cards that are just card draw because i in, in this i can then start running um obviously like blacksmiths two umbrons um i can even run some umbron marauders i can even run some marauders they're defend cards i can even think about running marauders um
Let me just see here. Root Singers, Root Singers are really good. Um, are those really only all the defend cards for nature? I mean, Spineback Forager could be good, right? Bumbler, Blacksmith, Flynamo rotates in one turn. Then either the uh, opponent wastes their removal for one Bumbler, or you get eight damage next turn. S Darbs, that is some next level thinking. You are absolutely right. That is next level thinking. Oh my word. And then, of course, we have a lot of time. We could. We can Clockwork Construct if they remove that buff and put it back into play. Um, time Shifters. If it's a tech card, I can play it without consuming an action. Yeah, so I'd have to find like quite a few defend cards. Uh, Lashes could splash blue and use Ashwood Nurturers that can search the blue beasts. Oh, oh, um, what blue beasts are you talking about? Uh, Boba, yes, yeah, Shard is a defendability. I could use Shard. Running the Lattice to a Death Search for any defend. Ice Feather Mystic is Gravity. So, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I I now have so many more ways to rotate this one buff. <laughs> Here's the other question. Do I go full in on Royal Bumbler and have that be my only buff and have my deck do nothing but rotate this thing super quick? Or do I try and get some other buffs in there to just do something? Because I feel like you guys are putting in amazing ideas to like, yeah, you know, here's all the, here's gravity can rotate it, fountain of time can rotate it, all this stuff to rotate. And I'm like, awesome, I have several ways to rotate Royal Bumbler. What happens if I just don't get Royal Bumbler? I'm just dead in the water, right? I got, I'm just, I'm just dead, right? You need other good buffs. Exactly! Exactly. The other good buffs that I can use Flynable with and I'm okay rotating it. Should you mention that Fiscus Key is also a defend that rotates a buff? Fiscus Key can also rotate my opponent's buff, though. Ooh, Wranglethor, I like that. I just I just shard of Grave is telling good a bumbler. <laughs> That's not a bad idea, Mud Turtle. Not a bad idea at all. I'm thinking if I run a second item, I should run three Tantosians. So, for, just for gravity, what do we have buff-wise for gravity that I would want? Um, spectral Guide. Defends. Yeah, I mean... Well, for, first, before we go too far... Let's still stick with nature so that we're not completely reliant on our items, right? Let's do that. Oh my god, fungal medium is a defendability, isn't it? It's an attack and defend. So if I have fungal medium out and Mantix Weaver... Oh my god, there's so many things. There's just so many things. I, could I could I run cards like Infected Medj, or Infected Veg, and use those to spin forward? Like if I if I do that, I could run Infected Veg and still warrant running the the uh, Shard of Gravis. Uh, Wranglethor, Gravity Meddler is actually. Rotate the stuff back in the on the beginning of the turn. They would not affect Royal Bumbler at all. Royal Bumbler is a conditional rotation, so he would not rotate it at all. Um, yeah, we we could run like Infected Veg and Invigorating Stink Cap, and just rotate those forward as well.
Wrangler Force says nope. What are we saying nope to? Okay, I read Gravity Method. Yeah. Um, the also, uh, uh, also other thing. It would defend it, but then in order to trigger the damage, I would literally have to use the attack ability. So I couldn't, like, defend, rotate it, and then rotate it back. Because its 8th corner is conditional to deal damage. To restart it. So I, I could, like, rotate it with a defend and rotate it back. Um, if it doesn't, you know, completely go haywire and rotate all the way out. But because its 8th corner is, uh, like... You have to trigger it. Uh, the I don't think the gravity meddlers would work too well. Um, do we just run like Stumpture of Shamans for healing? Spectral webs? Do we really want Spectral webs to be rotating out that much? Because like, mind you, we want buffs that are almost like gonna spiral out of control, right? With Flynamo, we want we want to really utilize the fact. That Flynamo can move our own bus forward. So is there is there buffs that we're okay just kind of flying out of here? And I'm thinking like Infected Veg and Invigorating Stink Cap. If we run the Shard of Gravis. And then we can run a third Tantosian. Stampeding Tusker is a good one. Um, loopers. Now, oh, that is actually a good one, uh, Mud Turtle. Loopers actually would be good in this deck because they draw them a hand for, um, like, my stink caps and my infected veggies. And their buff, I can just spiral forward. That could be interesting. That could be interesting. Um, the, the, I'm, I'm skeptical on Tusker. I'm skeptical on Tusker because Tusker is a defendability, it is, I'm not saying that. Um, but I would have to trigger it to restart it. And right now, I really want to try and just keep triggering my my um, item abilities, for the most part. Um, like, Mantis Weaver, I, I could. I also don't want to have too many defend abilities on board at one time. Uh, because if I do, Mantis Weaver will trigger the Royal Bumbler. My two items already are three defend abilities, which will put Royal Bumbler on the last edge. Special Mantics with Flynamo. And yeah, Special Mantics with Flynamo alone will rotate Royal Bumbler three times if it's the only buff out there. So what I'm thinking is like... Oh man, okay. Do I run Crushing Charges in this deck or not? Well, like Infected Veg and Invigorating Stink Cap, I don't think I do. Because I want them to have a heavy hand. I want them to have a fairly large hand. We also need to just find a hero we can run. Spectral Mantics? That's the one that, uh, if you get healed, right? Spectral Mantics. Let me... I think I know which one you're referring to. Yeah. Uh, do you want damage to target restart if I get healed for one or more? So... Oh, because Flynamo heals me, doesn't it? Bova, you sneaky genius. You sneaky genius. Yeah, I mean, these could just be potential large threats. 
Maybe put in restart cards to restart Bumbler. Bumbler on its own restarts. Bumbler already on its own restarts. If I use, if I'm able to use the attack ability, it already restarts the buff. Uh, so the 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 real trick, the real trick here, is to get it to its fourth corner just rapidly, just almost instantly the moment I lay it, without using an ability, so that I can then trigger the ability. Right? You can reset and trigger it twice every turn under twenty health. Reset and trigger it twice. How would I trigger it twice? Are you talking about Mantix or are you talking about um, Royal Bumbler? I'm assuming the trigger is for Mantix. Because, like, what will happen is Flynamo... Oh, with, uh, with, the, um, with the Mantix Weavers you're talking about. Yeah, because Flynamo will do it and then I can use Flynamo's ability again if I'm under 20. Yeah, okay. I like that. I like that a lot. And then, of course, they're like, ooh, look at that. Shards. Because I, I, I have yet to use this card. We are going to get so much gold. I have 16 gold. I Or 16 of these cards. Uh, infected Veg. Yeah, I, I don't have a third Infected Veg. Guys, I don't have a third Infected Veg. What's wrong with me? Time to go back to DeliveryCrab.com. An amazing place where you can go and buy did, er, physical card singles. Local in the U.S. I believe the U.K. equivalent is HeroicStarfish.com. Great place to go. Great place to be. Uh, okay, so we have... Do, okay, then my other question is, do I need the bar keeps? If I have Shard of Gravis, do I need the bar keeps? Methinks not. Uh, if I played Zelina Bloodroot, I could play Roaming Zombie. True, but then I couldn't play Royal Bumbler. Oh no, he, that is... Okay, hold on. I have Animal Soul. Soul, Soul. Okay, so the only card I couldn't play is the Invigorating Stink Cap so far. The only card... Oh my god, Ashwood Diva. Five star socks. Do I run Ashwood Diva over Umbron Barkeep? I think the answer to that is always yes. <laughs> Guys, did we did we find a deck where we could run Ashwood Diva? Are you for real? Look at all that card draw. Uh, would it matter that Gravity Meddler does affect any hero's buff to rotate it? Really? That, that seems a bit busted, right? You grab, really? When you play a defend card, rotate an action buff on any he Oh my! Oh my. You have Diva in your Hive Queen deck? That's pretty sick. That's pretty legit. We could add another Root Singer. We could add another Root Singer. Um, hey guys, you know what we don't have a single copy of in here? Buff removal. We don't have a single buff removal in this deck. We might want to add some Reckless Spirits in. Uh, ooh. 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 Do we cut a looper? Do we cut a looper? Or do we cut... Do we need... Okay, maybe we're maybe we're too heavy on the Divas. Too heavy on the Divas. Because we are running short of Gravis. Now, who needs buff removal? Okay, my, my other also thing is, if I'm also running Shard of Gravis and probably using that thing a lot, right? Like, just a lot. Do I really need the Divas? Do I really need the Divas? What, what other def, def, Defend Mayhem can we have in here? Um, I'm looking for buffs. What other just Defend Mayhem? God, Wild Spirit. Wild Spirit just, it makes me want to play this card, but it just, I don't think it fits even in this set. I don't even know if it'll fit in Uprising. Because it's Animal, and I wish it was Beasts. I wish it was Beasts. Uh, if you want the opponent's hand high, then D.Va helps that. That's true. That's very true. Because, uh, yeah, I can D.Va, and then, like, Flynamo... A stink cap or something, or an infected veg or something. S 
Spirit of Balance. I I have becoming a very strong advocate for this card. This card is just a really nice card. Do we need okay? Let's let's also think about this. Fly Nemo and Stink Cap are only heals. We have no defense. We have no defense. And we are going to be feeding our opponent cards for days. Right? Just like giving them all the value. Bumbler, Blacksmith, Wild Spirit, attack with Bumbler, same turn. I mean, wasn't that the whole point of putting Flynamo in, though? Like, Wild Spirit does the same thing as Flynamo, though. And in order to use the Wild Spirit, I'd have to have Animal uh, Mastery. So it would really limit my hero right now. I haven't even chosen a hero yet. Oh my god, there's so many ways to go with this. Guys, Royal Bumbler, it's going to be groundbreaking. I'm telling you that right now. Um... Oh my word, the extra action. You are actually, you are absolutely right. I forgot that this card gives you an additional action because I have never used 32 of my copies of this card. Not a single one. Just imagine the gold we'll get if we just put one in there. Um, so we're at 30 right now. We're at 30 right now. We... Like, right now, what I'm seeing is we just really want soul, right? With Mantix Weavers, Root Singers, Reckless Spirits, uh, Ashwood Diva, Infected Veg. Like, all of these cards are screaming we want soul superiority. You can't use Bumble at the same turn. Oh! Oh, because I can't, I can't use this ability on a, on a card I just laid. Bob, at least you were the one who found your, who found your mix-up. So we don't have, like, Fernblade. Let's, okay, let's just get a hero in here. General Fernblade. Mm. Guys, I can great, yeah, someone said great Daku. That's right, we can great Daku. Uh, do we, do we, do we find a third item? Do we put the Tome in here with Fraxinus Pinehusk? And get the Tome for three items. Because could Fraxinus Pinehusk just be the Bumbler Whisper? He's both experienced and battle hardened. No, don't third item. We could Oves. We could be the new Oves. And not care. We could be the new Oves. Uh ooh, we could Sage Leaf. Has anyone said Sage Leaf yet? Heal for one whenever an ability. Whenever your enemy uses an ability. Right now, there are a lot of people out there with abilities. Uh, I know Magrock is huge. That just pe People just use abilities, right? Could Sage Leaf? Oh, Ranglethar, you're... Okay, you make a fair point. Oh, on Scabby's Deep Root. If you had superiority, I'd be all over you. I'd be all over you. Yeah, Zelina Bloodroot. If we... So, really, we would have to get rid of... The Stink Cap. Deep Root so I can Bumbler for 9. It's not bad. Hold on, in death, if we if we take out the stink cap, if we take out the stink cap, guys, and put that one in, is that way too many defend abilities? Is that just way too many? What's the purpose of the Mantix Weaver? Uh, the whole deck, Mud Turtle. Rootsinger, yeah, Rootsinger, at some point if they remove it, we gotta get Rootsinger in. Mantix Weaver triggers all defend abilities. So, this is a defend card, and then every time I use a defend ability, because I'll be used to when I defend, if I have, like, two defend abilities into Mantix Weaver Mud Turtle, this thing will rotate once for the Mantix Weaver, 
and then once for each of the defend abilities that I trigger, and then Royal Bumbler will be on its fourth corner right off the bat. So that, that's what the purpose of Mantic's Weaver is. Oh no, Root Singer is Soul. S Dubs, Root Singer is a Soul card. Root Singer is a Soul card. Let me uh, fly into Mo, Mud Turtle, and Shard of Gravis. My items. So, also, it's been mentioned, uh, I could fly Nemo, and so I could, so I could Mantic's Weaver, right? That, that's a defendability right there. Triggers a defendability, which will trigger fly Nemo's defendability, so that's two. Then fly Nemo can then rotate the Bumbler one step forward for three. So just with fly Nemo and the Mantic's Weaver, I can get Bumbler to my fourth corner. And then trigger it. And do the whole thing over again. So, like, Royal Bumbler is the heart and soul of this deck. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Uh, and yeah, Looper, like, Looper just makes our opponent draw cards. Which then only feeds into our Invigorating Stink Cap and Infected Veg thing. Uh, and then we can spit it forward in the same turn. For seven damage. Um... But now that I'm looking, like, I could very easily take out Stink Cap, right? I could st I could take out Stink Cap. Life Leecher could be, like, Control. Uh, we have Roaming Zombie as well. Go Frax, take out Stink Cap, and add an item. Add an item and Umbrot Salvagers. Oh man, like as much as much as fun as that would be, adding in a third item would instantly make Royal Bumbler rotate out. Because especially if the item was a defend ability, if it uh, it would just rotate everything out. It would have to be an attack ability item or something like that. And the only attack ability I want to use is Royal Bumbler. Do we ever just add in a Caravid Scavenger? Just put in the core? It's not a bad idea, Mud Turtle. Soul Trader. Yep, let's definitely just start spiraling Soul Trader out of control. For some reason, that feels like a horrible idea, but... At the end of the day, it could be the best idea. I mean, Roaming Zombie, if we put Roaming Zombie in here, we have the Shard of Gravis, we have three Loopers and two Divas, just to make them draw cards, right? And we do kind of want their hand size to be full. Uh, and Infected Veg deals damage to their hand size. It's just like we would have no healing. Our only healing would come from Flynamo, and we have no defense. Like, that's where I'm just like, oh, that feels really bad. Um, so I think we're, I think we're going to stick with this. I think this is fine. I think this is A-OK. -okay. Bone Reaper. Ooh. Slamming down a Bone Reaper and spinning that forward. We can only spin it forward one, one corner, though. So, like, it would have to be a decent lineup, which is why I was like, Caravan Scavenger, I could throw that down and then... Mantix Weaver, uh, but then of course that would risk Royal Bumbler rotating the crap out. Just peace. Um, Soul Thief, I could put those in there for just defend cards. Tombstone Carver just to slow my opponent down, make him draw a bunch, but he couldn't. He could only take one action. Just put stalking stippet in. There's a lot of times we're probably just gonna draw two, right? I don't know. We will we'll we'll play this deck. See how it works. We'll just play this right now. We gotta find a hero. We gotta find a hero. 
Uh, and what I'm really needing is soul. I'm needing soul. Part of me just says Sage Leaf is just okay. It's a nice heal if someone uses an ability. They have a lot of abilities out right now. So what are we sitting on? So combos. Combos. We have a lot of soul cards. Do we run Oaken Symbiosis? I feel like it's a constant buff. Has soul. We have a lot of soul. Spiritual Turmoil. Do we ever run Raging Spirit? Our only cards that would be getting increased by is Royal Bumbler, and these would start hitting for, what, 11? That might just be too Mimi. I think Spiritual Turmoil could be good. Oaken Symbiosis could be good. One with Nature? We also could run Life Imbue. We could run Life Imbue. Is the Embers might want some healing. Like that's that's the thing. Uh infected or invigorating stink cap, that's my healing. And then Flynemo will pretty much heal me for one as long as I'm under 20. But um Yeah, I have I have no defense. No healing whatsoever. So like if this this deck is very meme. -y. We're gonna take this into casual for sure. We're not going on ranked with this thing. Not yet. Not yet, not until we work out a few tweaks. Um Do we ever try and run Camouflage? No, giving my opponent, like, hands is very risky. It's very risky. At least a combo with Burst Healing. So we talking Fungal Spores? Just regrowth, fungal spores. Because, like, we'll also be drawing quite a bit of cards, right? Because if, if Great Sharded Gravis just keeps drawing us cards, we'll have a fairly decent sized hand. I want to say camouflage. If we can get this thing going, Royal Bumbler, if we can like activate that on, you know, for a few turns, we can't be attacked. Maybe just a grappling roots. It's somewhat of a damage mitigation. Regrowth pays for it pretty easily too. Yeah, it is the Embers. I mean, I wish, I wish, outside of Fungal Spores, there was a burst heal for nature, but there's really not. All the big bursting heals comes from, uh, 
uh, Storm, right? All the big burst heals almost come from Storm. Or, or um, Astral. They have, like, all the Lunar ones. So we're giving, we're giving our opponent a very large hand size, right? Just extremely large. Hmm. And if they use an ability, I don't even own this card. If they use an ability, we'll heal for one too. I'm torn. I'm I'm honestly torn because I don't know if I want to run. Because like I said, we are going to be giving them a lot of cards. We have Ashwood Diva, all this other things. If we want to run, um, Zelina, and put in that one buff that makes us only get one action, right? So they only get one action, and then if, if they waste their buff removal on like Bum Royal Bumbler, they'll be delayed to one action for three turns. And they, we can let them draw, and then we can, like, Infected Veg, deal just heavy hits of damage to them. We just literally will not have any healing. Like, what we have is from Flying Emo. We'll have so much card draw. I'm torn. I'm torn. I think we're going to at least try this. We're going to try this. Um, Bumble Run. Or was it Stop Bumbling? Or Bumbling Around? Yes! Bumbling Around! Okay. Okay. So, with the power of creativity in you guys, we have built a deck that literally makes me go, what on earth did we just make? Um, and we're going to try it. We're going to try this. Or we're going to see how it does. If you're giving a large hand size Mantix Raider. Ooh, Mud Turtle, you've piqued my curiosity. You've, you've piqued my interest. Do I put Mantix Raiders in here? If I took... Okay, if, if I put Mantix Raiders in here, does that mean you want me to take out Infected Veg? Because essentially they do the same thing. Or are you saying we need to do... To take out something else? Because I'm okay with putting in like two Mantix Raiders. Take out the Stink Cap? Oh, man. Like, I'm okay with... I'm actually okay with uh, adding in the Raiders. If you're gonna... if Like I said, we give them a large hand size. Um... Probably only two, because I feel like a lot of our damage is going to come from the bumblers and all that stuff. Do we just take out one looper? Take out one looper and one stink cap and run two raiders? So what are we what are we looking at now? We have no forest, so definitely these uh, forest ones need to come out. They just oh they feel so clunky now. Yeah, now part of me just really wants to get rid of the sink caps and go Zelina. Part of me really just wants to add in Zelina now. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I've convinced myself. You guys can all say you're. I'm a madman. I think I am. Uh, but adding in Tombstone Carvers, if we can draw into them...
God, is that the worst thing that I've ever done? It might be. Since I really don't want to rotate those out in the stink caps, I was okay with keeping. Just one raider is like my finisher. Three carvers. Now I can add in Zelina. Corrupt wildlife. Uh, I don't think I need that. Uh, so, animal soul, I could add in feral rage. Raging spirits is bad. There are not a lot of good combos for her, are there? Spirit walk. That just feels bad. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I convinced myself otherwise. I'm going back to what I had before. Sorry, sorry, sorry for pseudo wasting people's time. We're going back to what we had before. We will still keep a one Mantix Raider in. We will still do that. I think the one we take out is an infected veg, and we add in, or we keep three stink caps. We'll keep three stink caps. For just, like, for just healing. If you change the tome. Yeah. That's true, but then, like, I would have to add in forest cards, Latro. And we literally took out the only two forest cards to do that. Um, so yeah, now we can add in regrowth. Um, fungal spores and grappling roots. Regrowth pays for all that. Part of me says I want to try and get camouflage in here so I can't be attacked and just die. But, but, we will try. We will try this. See what we have. God, that is so many, so many. Oh, we can fit in one more. We can fit in one more. What else? I, oh, I took out a looper. That's what I did. I took out one looper. I could add another raider. Or, I think actually, if, I had to say, I think the third veg is actually better because I do want buffs that my Flynamo can activate on. Um, if worse comes to worse. So I do think a third veg is actually appropriate. Alright. Alright, guys. Enough deck constructing. Enough deck constructing. Who's ready to go into casual and just bumble around with me? Huh? Who's ready to bumble around with me? Not whoever that guy is, or lady. They are super ready to bumble. Or not. I thought they were ready, but they're not. Whoo! Who's excited, huh? Who's excited to see if we just made a very janky deck? I want this to be like one of those that's never gonna work, and we have that golden apple moment where like one person just gets a really bad draw, and we go ham on them. Like we get, we just draw the nuts, and we have the best game of our lives. That's what I want. I'm not asking for it the first game, but at least within the first five. That one clip. Left high kick. I've seen you in ranked! Oh lord, are we gonna die? Hey, we can actually, like, fungal spores or grappling roots whenever we need to right now. Uh, this is not a good hand. Um. God, we got a bumbler. Alright. Uh, where's the hell? There we are. Well, guys, we got a bumbler, but we have no defense. There's not even a point in laying it right now. 
Mantix Raider could be fun. Mantix Raider could be fun. We have an Infected Veg and a Reckless Spirit. Okay, we are getting very bad draws. We, like, really need our items. We really need our items. Because we have, we have no defend cards, first of all. Other than our combo, all of the other cards are attacker buff. Well, I guess we're just gonna... Okay, cool. Hey, we got a Shard of Gravis. Which means we can have our opponent draw. He guys... Oh, Crystal Core could be bad. That could be very bad. We, we mostly hit really big numbers, right? And a Barkeep. Sure. Sure. I wonder if he's playing the Ezekiel uh, deck. It's a very good deck. It's a very good deck. Um, part of me says I just, I, oh, that's right, because I didn't, um, I didn't put it in with the blacksmith. That's what I didn't do. All right, all right. This is just, this is getting out of hand in a big way. Uh, I think we're gonna do this. Fill up his hand. Which means he most likely has like, a crushing charger, right? A reckless spirit. That is not... I mean, that's so sad. Yeah, I'll put that Flanimo in. Check that out. Alright. Do we put the veg down and bait out a buff removal? Quite possibly. Quite possibly. We we also can Ashwood Diva next turn to make him draw two. And fly him all that sucker. One gnarler, okay. I'm thinking he is playing Ezekiel's deck. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Lane, this might be good too. Should have sharded first. Um, I think we're fine. Okay, we got a Root Singer. That's pretty cool. We only have, I guess we have two. see what we have left high kick what's our plan just drawing well uh, we can heal for just a million Delza one it feels like it um, essentially, what the idea behind the deck is, is Royal Bumbler. Okay, never mind. You're gonna, you're gonna see it in action. Um. Hold on. Because we're just, we're gonna heal for a bunch right now. Boom. Look at that. Just all up in that grill. Uh, the idea is with Royal Bumbler... Royal Bumbler rotates when we use defend abilities. I think this is just... Uh, so well, basically we can use defend abilities um, to rotate this. And we have you know our items and everything for defend abilities. And then Mantix Weaver triggers all defend abilities in play. So if we put the Royal Bumbler out and it stays for one turn, we can Spectral Mantix... Trigger both of our items' defend abilities, which is three defense in one turn, making this go from the first corner to the fourth corner, and then attack ability with it, and that's essentially the plan. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can make it happen. I think now's as good as time as any. We still have one root singer as well, so if we want to, we have two root singers actually. We can just bring stuff back, right? We can just bring stuff back. Yeah, yeah, it is. Delza one. Yeah, but you have a three-month badge there. Look at you. Look at you. Um, 
Uh, I mean, he's not really dealing damage to me, and I can't heal with that, so there's no point in laying that right now. I think passing is fine. Passing is fine. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's lunar. What does he use with Lunar? Oh, does he get the, the spirits to bring him back into his hand for the additional action? I bet he does. Or just a Burrower. That works too. See, now what we can actually do... Um... Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Um... Find Mantics. Hold on, I have an idea. I have an idea. We'll see if it works. We'll see if it works. All right. Let's let's see what we can do. What what bait, what buff bait removal is he gonna try, or if he has any? He has three alignments that all have buffs, bait removal, or uh, buff removal. He has Crystal Core, he has Thunder Slugs. Okay, another Salvager. Question is, are we just dead? Are we just dead? He has ten Reckless Spirit, okay. Okay. I mean, I feel like we're just dead right now. Right? I feel like we're just dead right now. Because we have no healing, no defense. Uh, feels bad. We're losing a lot of our damage potential with that. He also has the Crystal Core, which is not good for this deck. Okay. So what I want to do next turn is... Like, Stink Cap. Maybe even Looper. He used an ability, everybody. We finally got that, our hero power to trigger. Sure. He does run the leech. We never even got to use the bumbler. We never got to use the bumbler. Well, that is a bummer, huh? I mean, I think we're just dead. Part of me says we're just dead. Him, him hitting us with those heavy eight damaging stuff. We have no defense, no healing. Like we, we really need to find a way to survive. But sure. Yeah. Left high kick, why are you in casual with a deck that I do believe is very refined? Good game. I, I like that deck. It's clearly not classic format. Uh, so, okay. Okay. Are people just playing, like, the net decks in classic right now because they hate ranked? I can see that. I can very much see that. This deck is... Oh god, it feels so bad. 
<laughs> it feels so bad. Um, I don't, I think, I don't think Looper is good. Um, it feels bad to say that. I think Looper might just be not good. Um, do we add in like pollen weavers? Because we are always, always going to be at low health. Do we add in pollen weavers? Shibes, hello. Uh, no, so what, what happens, Latro, is if, uh... So what happens, Royal Bumbler's on one corner, right? You have your two items for two defend abilities. Um... Yeah, no, no, you're exactly right. Uh, the whole point is to basically have another buff out there that you can rotate with Flynamo. Um... Which is why we're running, like, Stink Caps and Infected Veges or the Mantixes. Because, yeah, otherwise, Bumbler just flies off the board. Which makes me think maybe Shard of Gravis actually isn't good. We need something else. Isn't there a mountain item that's like you can't take more than 10 from a single hit? I mean, we're taking 8. Yeah, flies off the board. Pun is definitely intended there. Oh, what do we have? What do we want to do? What do we even want to do here? Do we just pop in Crystal Core because it's good? I'm torn, guys. I'm torn. I'm just going to pop a core in, just because. Then if we pop a core in, we can run cards like Catalytic Crystallite. Like, we really, we really just need healing. We just need healing. Healing or defense? Do we try and add in water with the uh, Aquadart Crab? And then put in some water healing?
Cause like these stink caps are not working for me. They're just not. They get they get buff removal, which is kind of what we wanted. Um, but right now everyone is running buff hate and just really high efficient damage cards that we really just we want healing. So maybe we do that. Maybe Ashwood Divas are not that good right now. Because we don't want to give our opponent cards. We never laid it in the last game. Which means Infected Veg isn't even that good if we're not making our opponent draw, right? We could put in some guard snails. Those are pretty nice ones to spin forward with Flynamo if we need to. Um, safety crab isn't bad. It's not a lot of healing. We got twenty two. Cause yeah, like with with Flying and Mantix Weaver alone is gonna trigger Royal Bumble, Royal Bumbler. So essentially, what we need is other buffs. Maybe we don't actually. Now that we're not running the other item for defend abilities, maybe we just need. Well, no, because we still want buffs for buff bait, buff bait, right? Um, bubble fish, maybe just like two of those. Did we just saw some insect swarms just to have buffs. Insect swarms just it's a good one, right? Why would I run that when I need an item for that one and I don't need an item for this one? Doesn't make sense to me. I think Insect Swarm is just a nice filler. It's constant damage out there. whole lot of healing unfortunately our only healing comes from guard snails and we have damage prevention with monsters defender I guess aqua dark crab could be considered healing if that's the case also we can run living whirlpool for buff hate because we're running three guard snails Oh, so many things going through my head right now. So yeah, we have Pollen Weaver for damage prevention, because most likely we'll still be at fairly low health. Why no spore feeder? Um, because a lot of the times we probably won't have that buff side on the board. We'll have like Royal Bumbler and maybe a Spectral Mantics. So spore feeder will only heal for like four. Spore feeder really, really gets a benefit from having a wide board. I guess now that we have Insect Swarm, we could. 
Um, four is better than zero. You got a point. You got a fair point. I'm also hoping that just like with Aquadart Crab and Flynamo, I can somewhat heal myself and stay alive. Then I have Pollen Weavers, Monsters, Defenders to kind of mitigate some damage. It's it's decks that like hit me like a truck is the ones that'll that'll kill me. Oh, no problem, man. Uh, I was the guy that... No, I, I mean, yeah, you destroyed me. Uh, I was the guy that awkwardly ran into a bit on casual, running your own deck that I net decked. Was that mine? Or was that... Th was that really mine? I feel like that was not mine. Because that was... Huh. Guys, I'm apparently... Was that the, was that the tip of the spear? One? That might have been the tip of the spear deck. I mean, it's a it's a fun deck. I'm not entirely sure if that was mine, though. Uh, at least I don't remember all those uh, Moonbeat Corvids and everything like that. Let me, let me check quick. Unless I got rid of it. The tip of the spirit. I know I did build one. I mean, you had a lot of the combos. No, that was mine. Wow. Okay, so you destroyed me with my own deck. Very nicely done, sir. <laughs> Very nicely done. I'm glad you had fun with it. I'm glad if you had fun with it. Yeah, the tip of the spirit. I mean, anything right now that's running three items is just really fun. It's just really fun. Left high kick, I appreciate the fact that you came to say hi after destroying me with my own deck on my own stream. <laughs> Subscribe to the Twitch Prime, left high kick. Thank you, man. Thank you. Can we get a Thunderfin salute in chat? Welcome to the Thunder Army, left high kick. Welcome, welcome. Just started playing this week. You must have a phenomenal collection if you were able to get all those cards for this for this this week. Man. How are you liking the game so far? How are you liking the game? You dropped some money? You've been playing Warhammer as well? I, I'm starting to dabble in Warhammer now that they have Draft. Um, still a little salty on the currency rewards for Draft, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm still planning on playing it every once in a while. But left high kick. Take that deck. Take that thing in ranks. That's a fun deck. Oh, by the way, Razor, feel free to modify that. Uh, welcome. I sent you to use what? Oh, Ranglethor. I read that. That is awesome. Dude, thank you. That is awesome. No, yeah, I mean, with that deck, I did okay in ranked. In all honesty, left high kick, I was doing okay in ranked. And if you haven't even jumped into ranked, uh, with that deck, you'll probably do really well because you'll face people who are also new. And if you literally dumped money to get that deck, that deck, like you said, like I just pretty much showed, it, it's a really fun to play deck. So I'm glad you're enjoying the content. I'm glad you were able to find that deck and build it all on your own. I'm glad, welcome to Lightseekers, man. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for the thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. So. This is awesome. Left high kick. Uh, I also have my own Discord channel if you want to follow me on Discord. And then if you're part of any of the Discord channels, and now that you're a sub of mine, you can use all of my emotes throughout all of Discord if they're linked together. Uh, I have... You live in Discord. Well, welcome. And, uh, no, Wrangler for I, I read that and I just started laughing so hard. I was like, dude, this is the funniest thing in the world. So we're going to get both our items out and just probably have a really slow start. Just a really slow start here. So we're very defensive now, which is good. Oh, he's also a Pollen Weaver. Cool. No, cool, cool. The thing is, like, in this deck... I do want to try and fit in some of those Umbron Marauders. Because A, they're defend cards. And B, they just deal 6 damage. So like, for this style of deck, and I don't heal a whole lot, being able to defend for damage could help me a lot. Um, I'd have to figure out where I'd put them. 
That seems weird. That seems weird. See, right now I could Marauder for six. Just boom. Um. Yeah, they'll just drop. Alright, guys, we got the Bumbler and we have the Mantix Weaver. Everything is coming up daisies. Three actions for two heal. Latra, I don't know. I don't know, man. Another Denma. Okay, cool. The best part is I I attack with defense. So I feel pretty strong about this. Until I, you know, use Royal Bumbler and attack him and then he hits me for seven. Then things look pretty bad. However, if I also lay the Moss Ridge this turn, it's good for this. So I think we're doing well. Check it out. We're immediately... Immediately, on like turn three or four, gonna be able to pull off this amazing bumbler with the Mantix Weaver. The entire reason we built the deck is just so we can do this, and it's gonna be very underwhelming. Very underwhelming. But, but we did it, guys. Check it. Oh! Boom! Now we just need a deck full of Mantix Weavers. And just additional actions. Ways to get additional actions would help. It would help a lot. He didn't even use this ability to deal 7 to me. Methinks... He knows not what he did. Uh, I don't even think I need to lay Pollen Weaver just yet. I think I can, du I think I can double pass. Think I can double pass. Shadow 2.0. Okay, you got a gnarler. That's cool. That's cool. What a bummer. All three of them gone, huh? That... That hurts. That hurts quite a lot. Um... I mean, the Aqua Dart would just make this... Do nothing. Until double pass. Reckless Spirit feels good. Feels good. Part of me also thinks I need something in here and add in a little bit more buff removal because Reckless Spirits don't do it justice. Like, they don't help a whole lot. I can, however, Reckless Spirit... <laughs> Removing that. Root Singer is a defend, however. So, like... Mantix Weaver it would rotate the crap out of that thing. Oh, man. Think I have to, though? Think I have to? Get that and that for more buff removal. If he's nature, he's probably got a lot of buffs. Maybe this will be the game for the clip. Latra, I'm crossing my fingers. I'm crossing my fingers. My turtle says just quit now. No, man. It's not my style. I only did, what, like six? I need to kill him with the bumbler. I need to kill him with the bumbler. Um. Okay. I got one bumbler off. I cannot really do anything yet. So, we drew a second Weaver. Woo! Guys, we're doing it. Just hope he doesn't have buff removal. No buff removal one time. Oh, you don't say. Guys, why didn't we include Battering Ram in our deck? That would have been so cool. Why didn't we include Battering Ram in that deck that just made him draw a bunch of cards? Mind you, we would spin the crap out of it, but it would have been awesome. 
So once again, we did eight damage. Do we... I'm going to take one. Do I ever just Reckless Spirit the Pollen Weaver right now? I think I do. I think I can't let the Bumble the Bumbler keep doing, like, minimal damage. I have two Mantix Weavers in hand. Guys, no buff removal. Come on. Shadow 2.0 have no buff removal. Have none of it. Be that guy. No! How dare you! Guys, we were almost there. We are almost there. We had two Bumblers off in one game. Now we need to draw like our life depends on it. Oh, man. All right. All right, now we need to draw like our life depends on it. Because it does. Which means we're going to be taking damage from this thing. Okay, we got a Weaver. Oh, we got a Bumbler! We got another Bumbler! Everything is coming up Razor. Oh, my word. He's only got four cards in hand for some reason. Guys, we're doing it. Can you believe it? I'm, I'm feeling it. A Corvid Conspiracy, sure thing, man. Sure thing. Okay. Okay, you've got two cards in hand. What are the odds? What are the odds? Regrowth? Um, I could? We'll see what he does here. We'll see what he does. Guys, we're doing it. We're doing it. Check this out. Check this out. Defend. Heal for two. Yes. Yes. All of the yes. Yes. Guys, we did it. And we have the same turn again. Can you believe this? Just don't die right now. Do not have anything. Don't... Okay. Oh, okay. I was like, did he return the bumbler? But he didn't return the bumbler. He did not return the bumbler. And a Corbin Conspiracy. Okay. Okay. You know what I can do, though? I can fly to Mogil for one. Rotate this forward. Bumbler again. So now we're at 14. And we have the same turn. Just don't die. Just don't die right now. Don't have an ambush. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Guys, we did it! Guys, we did it! No! No! Guys, we didn't do it! <laughs> no! <laughs> I wanted the Bumbler win so bad! No, the Mantix! <gasps> that is the definition of kill steal. How dare you take it away from your big brother Bumbler! How dare you, sir? Oh! That, that hurt me in so many ways. Oh, come on. Come on! All right, all right. So I do, I do like the Aquadark Crab. What, the only thing I'm thinking here right now is... I, I, I honestly think I need more buff removal. I think I need more buff removal to kind of help balance me out a little bit, like for more controlling matchups. I can add in an air item and run Thunderslugs, and with Thunderslug with the um, Flynamo. But then I would lose my um, my healing, right? I would lose my, my healing buffs. So I don't know. I don't know what I need. Like that's that's the weird thing is I don't know what I need.
we just we drew absolutely beautiful that game because we didn't draw a whole lot in all honesty we did not draw a whole lot but we drew two bumblers and like all three of our mantics weavers oh my word hold on um i don't know who said it before i don't know who said it before but Time Shifter literally can help me look for a Mantix Weaver. Is there a reason I'm not running Time Shifters in this deck to help me look for the Mantix Weavers? Ranglethor, you said it. You said it. Is there a reason I'm not doing that? Maybe because it's too clunky. Ranglathor, no. I listened to you. I just read the last part as more important, being able to not play it in the same turn because I wanted to try and do fun stuff with uh, Royal Bumbler. And now I'm playing it out and realizing, hey, this is how this thing works. Um... It would double trigger the Bumbler. I mean, if it was a tech, I could play it without consuming an action. So I could double defend. Uh, but Mantix Weaver isn't... The... Isn't a tech, so I wouldn't be able to lay it. Um, Time Shifter, it would, it would trigger Bumbler once. Which means I would, like, need another buff for Flynamo to work. I would need another buff for Flynamo to work. Oh. Too bad I don't have superior time. Yeah, too bad my nature here doesn't run superior time. <laughs> Thing is, Living Whirlpool, do I, I... I mean, I do have Living Whirlpool for buff removal, right? Time Shifter into Epic Master and trigger the Bumbler. Yeah. I mean, once again, that also means that I could just put in an animal item into a Time Hero. I could do that. Uh, but I'd have to run Animal and Mantix Weaver if I wanted to get a good uh, turn because I mean these are all the defend cards right yeah tech has really nice heals tech has really nice heals um, and actually one fountain of time on a royal bumbler spins it the entire way doesn't it because it's a defend card that spins it twice have I been using royal bumbler wrong this entire time should I be using tech and putting in a Royal Bumbler. Yeah. Have I been playing this all wrong? Should my... Oh my word! Every time I lay defend, Bumbler will rotate pretty much twice. Actually, you may rotate. Is Bumbler belong in a Chef Ribrox deck? Or a P or a Pacemaker Brox. Lay two time cards, can rotate stuff. Chef Ribrox.
Oh man. Okay, so it is 8:30. We're playing for another hour and a half. I f oh god, I feel like I want to now. All right, we're 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 being creative. We had one really good game with this. We had one really good game. I kind of want to see what I can do with tech now. I really do. I I honestly really do. Oh my word. Okay, so I, all I want is, ro is Royal Bumblers. That's all I want. Uh, and then the animal item is actually animal superiority. Yeah, it could just be a good poker. Um, then we have... Probably two. The thing is Umbron Barkeep is healing. Which, off of our hero, whenever I play a card that grants you immediate healing, I can rotate an action buff one step forward. So Umbra on Barkeep is going to rotate that thing forward, right? And it's also just going to draw me cards. Blastfield Battery is going to draw me cards, but not necessarily give me healing. No, I mean, that's, that's what is so amazing about this deck, is the deck building aspect of it. I love it so much. Three Fountain of Times, they're essentially the same thing as what we were trying to do with our Mantix Weavers. Um, time Shifter. I feel like, like, one or two Warden of Times is, is okay. Because we also do need some buffs, right? We need some buffs. Yeah. That's a good point. And Barky, as we've, as we've just discussed, is, is healing. So it's just, it's healing right there. Time Warden. You mean the Warden of Time? I, I have one of them. I have one of them. Um, but now I really, I want to look for buffs. I need to look for buffs. Maybe? Colossi Cannon. If we also run... Um, Epic Master... To rotate all of our stuff forward, maybe like two of them. Final Ross battle. How are we doing today? Um. Yeah, Blast Proof Defender is really nice. Guys. How many times are we going to be defending in this deck? Me thinks a lot. Me thinks a lot. Maybe, maybe just like two of them? Because obviously like we're going to be spinning our stuff forward. Um, so it kind of makes me want to play, um, at least, like, some of these. Oh god, our buff removal is horrible now, isn't it? Our buff removal is horrible. You know what we're going to do for buff removal? That... And some of these, they're defend cards that heal us. Wranglethor, I literally just looked over and saw your comment. Exactly what I'm doing, man.
Interesting. Very interesting. It is a defendability, so like working with Time Shifter. Or Time Chamber. Exactly. Who needs to remove their buffs when you can kill them? Because if I time it right, I can like remove or return their buffs, and then the Royal Bumbler will be in its last corner. Uh, so what do we have? We have no... Why do we not have some of, like, the best healing in the game, in my opinion? So, okay, we have... How many buffs do we have in this deck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, my God, we, we have almost no buffs. I think we went way too heavy on this. I think we take out the Epic Masters... Maybe add in the ramparts. Oop. Maybe just two time shifters. We don't need to go full ham on it. Because uh, Fountain of Time is our new weaver, right? Oh, yeah. Regent Chamber would have been nice, but, like, if our only damage comes from the Royal Bumbler, we need to do something. We we need to do something. Spirit of Balance is so much fun. I love that card. So we need, like, we just need more buffs, right? We need... What's our card draw look like, anyway? Umbron Barkeep's... And all this defense. Time shifters. Actually, do I need three fixers? Do I need three fixers? I don't think I do. I think that's a bit too much. You built your own bumbler? Dude, that's awesome. What, uh, what color did you go with, Mud Turtle, for your main? Are you straight forest if you're running uh, Spirit of Balance? Actually, yeah, maybe Spirit of Balance in that nature deck is just really good. In the nature version. Dude, if you want to share the list, I'd be more than happy to look at it. If you're going 4-0... With an aggro bumbler? That's awesome. Three raiders, three salvagers. How many wins did you get off the bumbler, though? That's what I gotta ask. That's what I gotta ask. Oh, that's too funny. That's too funny, man. Maybe just a third time chamber for all the defend cards. Uh, so yeah, Fountain of Time is the only one that really rotates forward now. Oh god, do we add Time Chamber into our, our forest one? 
That's a lot of defense. Yeah, Mudsword, let me see if if you don't mind, uh share the deck in my Discord. Let me see that deck, man. Also on trade cards, even better. Even better. Alright, let me let me go to this. We'll play we'll we gotta find combos, then we'll play one more with this. I have no idea what this is gonna do. What are we even looking at for things? Wow, we do not have a lot, do we? Body morph could be fun. Celerity, if we get additional actions and can do stuff with them, that'd be pretty fun. Nitro heal. I mean, yeah, I could. Nitro just pays for things. We think a time flicker. It's because time flicker is that good. How many? We run what two explosive? Then it's our cannons. We almost got to run another one that's like this payment. Maybe Higgs Fusion? Or Turbosphere? Yeah, I'll put that in there then. Alright. I hate to say it, but this one feels even worse. This one feels even worse. Uh, I think that's too many Chrono Warpers. Let's try and add in a third cannon. It, f it, it feels worse. Um... The Chrono Bumble. Chrono Bumble. We'll try this. We will try this. Oh, man. Might be easier to just go Tempest? No. No, because I want my ability to be able to heal and rotate the Bumbler faster. And the Cannon faster, too, actually. It'll rotate that Cannon quicker as well. You know, you don't always need to use Tempest. There are other heroes. We'll try and use them to the best of our abilities. And Chef Ribrox is one I have yet to see. So even if I don't do well, I'm gonna level him up and get some gold. I'm gonna level up and get some gold with that punk. What do we have here? JB Shaw with Jax. Someone has a toy. Alright guys. We got the ace in the hole, but no item. We're off to a great start. Other heroes don't draw. I mean, passing draws, Latro. Passing draws. Gear crank catapult. All right.
Well, it's a good thing we have Time Shifter to search for our item. Boom. Getting that right into play. Alright. Alright. What are the chances that he knows our game plan? What are the chances? Because we have two Fountain of Times in our hand already. We're not going to be doing diddly for the next several turns. Like, at all. Look at this. Turn two. Alright guys. We're the greatest in the world. We have the same turn next turn. And then we have no card draw. No card draw whatsoever. We're going to be dead in the water for like the next several turns after dealing 16 damage to him. Battering Ram. I am loving the fact that more and more people are including these random cards we've never seen. Oh man. So what's my item do? Last card card is a defend. Oh, he's not defended yet. I bet he's like, are you serious right now? How many times can you say you've done 16 damage by turn 3? I'm rocking it. I'm rocking this. Takes my entire turn to do. People may say I've overextended. But I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Warden of time. Sure. I'm going to be pass drawing for a while. JB Shaw. Now is the time for you to... You to come on the offensive. Oh my god. Alright. So I'm going to get healing. Which is going to be amazing. Sure. Oh, it's an attack. That's so rude. That's so rude. See, I've actually never played against Jack, so I have no idea what his ability is. That's interesting. That's interesting in its own right. I think I'll do this. Boom. Get out of here. Alright guys, here's something else. Next turn I can warp Toad like this and this and hit him for 8 again. And I drew another warp Toad in case he tries to, you know, do this thing again. Things are looking up, Razor. Jackson's the first deck you made with Crumbling Towers? That's interesting. Because, I, like I said, I, I I don't own Jax physically, so I've never really played him. But that's really cool. Um, so he's going to get, what, Blastbot back? Blastbot and Perpetual Cannon? Actually, no, I don't want to rotate that one. I'll keep that one on the board. You can get those back all you want. There's another 8 damage for you. I got my second warp toad in case that thing comes back. Once again, we're here hoping it doesn't have any heals. No heals whatsoever. Sure, there's a system. There's a system. Awesome. Mud Turtle, I will definitely give this a look after this game. Surprisingly enough, this game's not doing too bad. Oh, okay, so you ran the Shard and Flyable, just like I was doing, and you ran Loopers. Dude, you run three Battering Rams! Oh, I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. Yeah, the Battering Ram, like, I didn't even know. Honestly, in all honesty, I didn't know that card existed. I completely forgot about that card. Having that in here could be really good because you're making your opponent draw a lot of cards. And it's exactly what almost that deck needed. Is there a way to add back Fountain of Time? Um, Not that I'm entirely aware of. In all honesty, not that I'm entirely aware of. 
Uh, but, however, because of our chef, guess who heals and gets to rotate a buff forward? Boom! Boom! Uh, and then next turn we can warp toad again and hit him and for the lethal. Oh! He thinks he's safe! He thinks he's safe! Guys, unless he heals, he's dead. Isn't this amazing? Definitely warp toads in here. Oh my god, drew them both, won the game. Three Abyss Hordes to your two Battering Rams? Oh my god, that's nasty. No, Mudsar, I completely forgot about the Battering Rams. I just completely forgot about them. That's awesome. I cannot, I honestly can't wait to try your deck out. Uh, that one's going, uh, yeah, return that one, why not? And, yeah, Alchemy Lab, yeah. And I guess who gets to attack again? Oh my god. Guys, when Bumbler, when Bumbler works... That should not have been that easy. That was amazing. That was incredible. All right, all right, Mud Turtle. I I need to try this deck of yours because that. No, yeah, exactly. And you don't run uh, Crushing Charge or anything any or here either, do you? So like, it's not that punishment. Mudsrill, I hope it's okay if I'm just gonna legitimately steal your deck. Because this thing looks way too fun. This thing looks way too fun. Don't care. Awesome, man. We got a Feral Rage. We got a Beast from Within. I mean, you did just post it online for everyone to see. So, if anyone else wants to play this deck, Mud Turtle has built an amazing looking deck. Everyone, everyone, can we get a Thunderfin salute and chat from Mud Turtle for building what looks to be an amazingly fun aggro deck that runs just some... Isn't competitive in ranked or physical? In physical, I would say no. Um, Looper is only limited to one in physical. Uh, Mantix Raider is limited to one in physical. You're running both Regrowth and Feral Rage. You are not running a single forest card, are you? Right? Regrowth is what pays for a lot of that stuff, doesn't it? I will say one thing I want to do. One thing I want to do. I want to take out Spiritual Turmoil. And I want to add in... Uh... Camouflage. I know you're very aggressive, so you're probably like, why would you do that ever? But it has two alignments that I'm not running, so if I did want to pay for a combo easier, I could pay for it. That's the only reason. Dude, that I, I'm, we're working on it together right now, and you have you have built quite the foundation. You've already built like a a thirty story apartment complex, and I came in and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna rent one of your rooms. And I'm just, I'm going to, I'm going to stay here for a year and just have some fun. Because this looks insanely fun. Then we got three loopers. Three Mantix Raiders. Foundation was really my deck. I mean, I, I wouldn't go that far. The foundation was literally like, hey man, I want to try and put Royal Bumbler in here. And that's it. Because you're not even running the Mantics, uh, um, the Spectral Mantics. You're just running other defend cards. I mean, yeah, you have, you have some really cool ideas in this. Uh, okay, we got Reckless Spirits. Two root singers. Uh, two spirit of balance while I'm here. Three beautiful royal bumblers.
multiple ways to win besides bum. Which is why this deck is probably a lot more competitive than mine, because I solely went full ham on the bum. I was all about that bum. That sweet, sweet bum. I'm going to keep saying bum. Bum. Uh, I'm missing three cards, which are the salvagers, since we're running three items in a deck. Alright, I'm going to call this the the Muddy Bum. The Muddy Bum. Alright, we can put a B there. So it's Bumble. We have ourselves quite the Muddy Bum. God, I have way too many decks. I need to clear this list up. Alright, alright. This is this looks like an amazing deck just right off the bat. A lot of card draw with the Shard of Gravis. The Battering Ram is amazing. The Flynamo... I mean, you really just want to trigger the final. There's no, um, like, the Spectral Mantics trigger it to have Bumbler go off on one turn type thing. Yeah, okay. Let's try this. Let's try the Muddy Bum. Let's jump into casual with our Muddy Bum and see what we got going. Which, yeah, I mean, well, so, okay, I gotta ask that. If you don't run the flying mode to, like, rotate your things forward, would you run, would you think about running Fluximo? Because this deck doesn't have a single burden card. Would you think about running Fluximo in the deck? Um, for getting your items out faster. Um, because, uh, I know Nuwan almost made it a, made it a really good play. Um. Oh, okay, so you use the flying mode and the bumblers out. Sure, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, if you draw the bum if you draw the bumbler, it's good for the card draw. Okay, because like getting your three items out with a fluxmo. If you blacksmith into the fluxmo, then use fluxmo to get blacksmith back. I drew two of my items. Are you for real right now? Well, I mean, I guess I don't want to lay either of them in case you just wrecks one and a salvager. This what is this hand? What is this hand? Bubblefish. No, that's that's sure. Yeah, you do your thing, man. You do your thing. This is gross. Um Yeah, I don't even want to do anything right now. Well, I can lay Feral Rage. Seems pretty cool. Seems pretty cool. I mean I don't even want to lay the battering ram because he's got bubblefish out. I, oh, I, I kind of want him to charge with me right now. Oh, we got a Bumbler. All right. Things are looking up. Things are looking up, everybody. We got Flynamo into Bumbler. And we can watch him Reckless Spirit that all he wants. Or not Reckless Spirit, uh, Thunder Slug at all he wants. You have the slowest, most unbelievably boring turn ever. It's great. There's a Slug. How dare you? How dare you slug my bumbler? You horrible, horrible man, you. He must know the deck. Did you did you face Rooker and that bumbler wrecked him? Is that what happened? Is that why he's so afraid right now? Oh, but I got another bumbler. I got another bumbler. Everything is looking up. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Put that bumbler down. Probably even the battering ram. Yeah, I can rootstick the bumbler back if I want to now. I almost kind of want to, um... Like, Spirit of Balance... A uh, spark whisk. Yes, please. Spirit of balance and then a root singer. Just just draw. Just draw cards. Do it, my friend. Yes. Oh. Oh, this is looking glorious. Cause against Storm, Root Singer is not bufferable. It's it's utilized for damage. 
Oh, then I get them both back. Oh yes. Yeah, if I had a, if I had a raider, things would be amazing right now. Imagine if if the spectral mantics was a raider. Um. But guys, everything is okay because I get to do this again. That was beautiful. Mwah. Beautiful. Now I can fly Nemo. This. He'll take another five. Or he'll take three. No way. No way. I've never actually seen this. Fail Rage game. Mud Turtle, don't tell me I have lethal when I have Bumbler on the board. This is also damage prevention? Never mind, it's not. I didn't know this was damage prevention either. Did not know that. Uh, however, I do have Reckless Spirit. So... Yeah, I kind of want to just do this. Kind of just want to do that. Um... I mean, it's only two damage. But yeah, it is It is the better lethal. It is the better lethal. Like, part of me knows I'm, in, I'm just in casual. Part of me knows I'm in casual and just wants to win the most obscenely fun way possible. But then again, I also gotta remember, I'm on stream and I probably should at least get a certain persona of people understanding that I do know what the game goes like. Like, yeah, Feral Rage. Okay, I have Lethal with Feral Rage. This is five damage. I, I, the thing is, like, I don't have, I cannot bump, I cannot fly him the Bumbler now, because the Bumbler will rotate out. I can Ash with D.Va, however, and that's a much better lethal. Oh my, okay. Oh, what do I do now? What do I do? I, I need to win with Bumbler. I need to win with Bumbler. I need to win with Bumbler. You say Raider. Raider would have been the BM move. This, this deck is all about Bumblers. That Mantix would have been for 14. That thing would have been such a huge thing. But we built a deck to play Royal Bumbler. Darn it, we're gonna play Bumbler. Oh my god, dude, this this aggro deck, it feels... It feels very smooth. Which is really weird. Like, okay, okay, if we're, if we're doing this... Like, I, I'm just sitting here thinking to myself. How much does this deck change if we tried to make this classic format, right? I kind of want to see. I kind of want to see. How this deck would change. Um, so, I want to say we keep regrowth, right? I want to say we keep regrowth, toss out feral rage. Because regrowth helps pay for a lot of the other combos. Uh, we have to toss up two of these. We have to toss up two loopers. And that's it. So we need to find four more cards in a combo. Uh, nature's combos. What do we have for nature's combos? Is ambush? Is ambush staying in, or is it um, territorial dominance? I want to say it's dominance. I want to say dominance is staying in. Ambush is staying. In. Okay, so territorial down there. Combo's done. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, so we gotta take out one Root Singer. You're right. Very good catch, Rocket Star. Thank you for that. Uh, put in a Spirit of the Balance. So yeah, a third Spirit of the Balance makes this really good. Like, yeah, I wanna see. I wanna see. Um, part of me says I wanna run the Gnarler, which is essentially another Mantix Raider, because we're running four different colors, right? Put in a Marauder. Oh, the defend one. The Umbron. The unaligned. Gotcha.
Is Marauder rotating out as well? Or is that staying in? I feel like it's rotating out, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So we can only have one. So, I mean, yeah, we have a Marauder. We have a Gnarler. We have a, um, one Root Singer, one Mantix. We have just a lot of heavy hitting damage. Um, do we need more buffs for Flynemo to activate or not, actually? Because I feel like the only buff in this deck... It has three Bumblers and a Looper. Oh, I guess we do have Battering Rams. Oh, Marauder is staying. Okay. So we can add in two more cards. We can add in two more cards. Which ones do we add in? I feel like adding in buffs is fine. So we have something to... Uh, to Looper. Is there... What buffs have something just like Looper where it activates on the next turn? Where is something that just activates on the next turn? Is there anything in time? Time buffs that activate on the next turn? We could run Frozen Totem if we really, for some reason, wanted to. Frozen Totem was really good in the Asavok deck. Um, just like, you know, get our buff removal or uh, buffs back if they attack us and remove like the Bumbler. But we're also very aggressive. Maybe we don't care that much about Graveyard Recursion. In all honesty. Oh, that's true. Well, I mean, the Shard of Gravis, if they oppress with the Shard of Gravis, we can't get it back. Right? We just can't get it back if they do the, do the, uh, do that. We could add in Power Hoarders. But then they go dormant with Crystal. Oh, this is... Bramble Spike Hunter! We can rotate this fort. How many attacks are in this deck? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, maybe? We'll, we'll, we'll keep looking, but Bramble Spike Hunter seems pretty good. Special Mantic's also just really good. If they do drop us a little loot, or a Flynemo starts healing us as well. Maybe two Mantic's. Do we ever just add in one Tree Sprout for somewhat card draw? Because outside the Shardy Graves, we don't have a whole lot of card draw, right? I guess we have Ashwood Diva. No, maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, I feel like with Looper... Well, hold on. Yeah, in classic format, Looper isn't a buff anymore. 
Looper is just damage. Yeah. In classic format, Looper is still an attack card. Mantic's Raider... Um... Bec or does one more damage. Otherwise, I think that's it, right? Does three extra? What does three extra? Regrowth can put in combos, which means you can put in camouflage. Oh yeah, it does. It does three, not three extra. It, do, it does three. Yeah, Raider does three instead of two. That's where I got confused. Was three extra? Oh god, what does that mean? Um. Yeah, actually, how many attack cards did I say I have in the stack? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I right, technically have nine. Um. I could just put in two Feasting Skeetos. I, I kind of really wanted buffs, though. But yeah, like, with attack cards, Bramble Spike Hunter could just be really good. Or just an Insect Swarm. Just two Insect Swarms over the Spectral Mantics. I wanted things that would rotate, though, right? I have no forest cards. That's amazing. Yeah, I think this could be fine for classic. Anyway, but yeah, the, the looper thing really throws the stack out of the loop. Pun definitely intended. That, uh, I'm just gonna keep playing with the Muddy Bum, the original one, with the three loopers. It really stinks that you can't looper and fly to the looper, because you don't have superiority in time. It stinks. Yeah, and not three raiders. Yeah, that, that stinks too. And then not two root singers. Um. What were some other cards? Because we had to take out, what, five? Secret Lifesaver, you know for a fact it was not a terrible pun. It was an amazing pun. Look at this, Mud Turtle. Mud Turtle is my my bumbly wingman. It's a Gnyros? Nyros? Well, I mean, he does draw quite a bit of cards. I might just want the Soul of War to come out first. Fair Pang equals automatic win. Two items. Oh, we're doing it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, use your ability. Draw cards. Draw cards. Battering Ram will keep your hand full. Guys, Battering Ram, I need to use this in a lot more of my decks. This is such a good card. Uh, yeah, I think Battering Ram is good. I think Battering Ram is A-OK. -okay. And the Sharded Grave is... I think that's A-OK -okay to do. Oh my word. Yeah, no, go ahead. I want you... I want you to Reckless Spirit the Battering Ram, which means I can lay my other one. And it also means that you cannot bring back... The Reckless Spirits for my Bumblers. You just can't do it. You get out of here with your Bumblers. You get out. I'm wondering, um... Okay. That's a really good one to Reckless Spirit. That's a really good one to Reckless Spirit. I think I want to Shard first, though. I think I want to Shard first. Wow. 
Uh, and then we'll, yeah, we'll Reckless Spirit this thing. Draw a card with Soul, soul War. Come on, there we go. Bloop. So we have all of our weapons except for Flanum when we finally have a Royal Bumbler in hand. What is up with that? I'm wondering, I'm really wondering, uh, Mud Turtle, if there's... If there's a way to sneak maybe just two... Two Spectral Mantics in here. Just to get that, like, one turn Bumbler for surprise damage. Because otherwise Bumbler doesn't get off until, like, turn two. And you can still make them draw cards and draw a card and rotate your buffs. Like, I'm wondering if... I'm wondering if there's a way uh, to fit, like, two... Two Spectral Mantics in here. And still keep this deck the way it is. So he's got, he's got five cards. Really? Really? Well, there's another bumbler. There's a looper. Don't have time, though. I mean, that's very true. Mantix is a dead card without the Flynamo. But, I mean, Shard of Gravis is also there as well. And I would hope that you get Flynamo fairly early if you're running three loopers. Like, your Flynamo is one that you'd want to look for... Right after the shard, I would assume. So that your loopers are not dead cards either. Dude, why are you not drawing cards with Fairpang? Is it because I'm drawing all your cards? Huh? What's up with that? Sorry, man. That's really weird that he would put Shapeshifter in this deck. Questions, comments, concerns from the Peanut Gallery for why you should not run Shapeshifter in a Fairpang deck? I'm wondering if he meant to get the, um... Oh, god. Okay, okay, okay. I think Crystal Core in here. Rocket Star, is that a... Is that a Y as in a... Or is that a... Why are you asking that, Razor? Get a Bumbler out. I mean, I could. The first one. I have been using that shard quite a bit now. But Turtle, you're wasting the shard abilities. I am literally just giving him everything he wants, aren't I? How many animal cards does he have, though? He's got no animal cards. That he just. He literally just wanted to dump his hand. He legitimately just wanted to dump his hand. He. This guy. Secret lifesaver, no. No. Laying two of these sounds like a really weird choice. But to each his own. Everyone starts somewhere. Okay, everyone starts somewhere. There we go. Now I don't need two of you, I just need one! Well, oh, it's free free defend action, so I mean, that's cool. My turtle says, Woot! That, yeah, oh, that's right. We're running a deck with core, so they're never dead cards. Oh... Uh, but sort of, can you tell that I don't play competitively and I'm very just a memer where I'm like, why do I have two of these and I only have these items? No, 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 there's core. There's core. This is never a dead card if you run core. Give me that, give me that fly -demo. Yeah. Yeah, that feels good. That feels nice. Um. Um. Do I just hit him for eight several times right now? I feel like that's fine. <laughs> just, just hit him for eight. You say loopy? I can, I can loopy right now. It's still good loopy. It'll draw him a card. He's being very cautious about not 
having a large hand size. Yeah. I mean, part of me... Part of me wants to put in... Oh, no, because this, this doesn't rotate. This won't rotate. Otherwise, yeah, it would be 15. But I gotta find a way for this thing to rotate. I gotta find a way for this thing to rotate. Uh, I mean, I can Ashwood Diva and trigger this. I can do that. Get him some cards. I mean, I have the core. Blacksmith. Mud Turtle, why are you telling me these things like two turns too late? Huh? I did have Lethal if I went to Blacksmith. You are absolutely 100% correct. The, the next level plays that you say in my like three to four second delay. Mm. No, yeah, I had Lethal. I had Lethal if I would have uh, Blacksmithed. Uh. Guys, did I mention I'm going to the Silver Tier Golden uh, Delivery Crab Tournament this Saturday? We'll see how I do. If it's as well as I'm doing right now, well, things could be pretty happening pretty bad. Oh no, I mean, he can heal all he wants. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I mean, I have Mantix Raider and Elbron Salvager. So. And, actually, I got a better one. Boom. Spear to balance. Oh, that felt good. That felt really good. That felt, dare I say it, balanced. I got it. Oh! You saluted, you saluted that pun. I don't care what you say, Lifesaver. You saluted that pun. That's what I'm approving of right now. Oh, man. Like, those Spirit of Balance are so good. They're so good. Um, I kind of want to get in, like, a Marauder as a defend. I kind of want to get in, like, a Marauder. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. I can't really do a, a Thanos. He's just a really deep, raspberry voice. Maybe for a Ram? I mean, yeah, Rams are nice. But do I need three of them? Yeah, a number on Marauder, just like one defend to deal six to then trigger like the the Bumbler to rotate. Even if I take six just to deal eight, that could be fine. That could be fine. Um Also, if we are running loopers, if we are running loopers. I really want to get in at least, like, one or two of these man uh, weavers. So that yeah, you only use them when Flynamo comes out. But then, you're, like, you can loop her into a Mantix Weaver and trigger the Flynamo off that. Like, it feels like it's just... Like, it... Maybe actually taking out a Marauder. Maybe I don't need the Marauder, I need the Mantix. Or I at least want the Mantix. You have to win that way now by dealing six to yourself. Yeah, I mean, this this is a very, very refined aggro deck. Where Weaver does have, like, one or two niche plays. Where it can spin a Bumbler completely around. Um, but you'd, like, need another buff because you're running Shard of Gravis as well. Um, so like that's why you'd lay it with you'd lay it in conjunction with Looper, and for an aggro deck, having those synergistic plays really slows the deck down. Those are more of like mid range or almost late game decks where aggro is just you want every card to be able to do something on its own as opposed for synergy. 
Um, so yeah, you're, you're completely right, my turtle. I do like adding in the one Marauder, though. I think the Marauder's nice. I also got 20 shards off this Marauder, so that's pretty cool to find out. Yeah, with lack, you're exactly right. You're exactly right. I was doing actually just fine with having the, the Bumbler out. Battering Ram is just buff removal bait. Like, Battering Ram in this deck is really good buff removal bait, because it, it keeps their hand size down. And if they want to remove it, they're going to remove the ram, and then you can put down a bumbler, and you're like, well, that was horrible. You also can put down a looper, and they'll, sure, they'll remove the looper, but you still got bumbler. How many buffs are in this deck? Yeah, just those three. Just those three. And then you're running two root singers to bring the bumblers back. Yeah. I do enjoy this muddy bum. I do enjoy it. Yes, I do. So much so, guys. Last half hour, we're taking this thing into ranked. We're taking this thing right into ranked. No damage reduction? Yeah, I mean, like, there is... This deck is aggro. The first deck we're going to face is like a Magrock or a Selene aggro. And we're just going to get shrecked. But, the only way to find out its true test of power... Is to go into ranked and wait the five minutes to get a ranked match at this late at night. That's the test that we need. Tarek and Fish Gang, it's going well. We were we were memeing for the first little bit. Then our good friend Mud Turtle here came up with this amazing deck that pretty much ran the concept we wanted to. He he did our, he did what our deck wanted to do tenfold. Like he made it so much better. And it's it's because he didn't, unlike us. He didn't go full me in on the Bumbler, but he still found a way to make Bumbler good. So Bumbler is not a groundbreaking card. It's just a card... You don't say, Lifesaver. You don't say. Ugh. Well... This, this could be bad. Alright, alright. We can put loopers in. Amazing. It's gonna be a real test. And, uh, Tarek Michigan, yes. Uh, yes, these are, um, my, my sub badges are ones that I did on my own. Um, I had an idea of what I wanted to do and I tried them. Uh, I got Play Fusion's, uh, request for the art. Um, and I went ahead and... It, it was it was a lot easier to do than I thought it was. That's why I did it. Oh boy, she's she's animal aggro, isn't she? She's animal aggro. This could be a little difficult to make her hand size go well. Uh, do you, uh, I th is laying looper okay here? It might be. Sorry, uh, do you still need to make anything for you? Like new emotes? Once we got our new nine month badge as a streamer. You have nine months? What, you have nine month badges? My gourd! I think they only allowed me to put up like... Oh, our new nine month badge. Oh, nice! So I read that as nine years. I was like, dear God, nine years, what? Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, Tarek Vishkangs, I, I will most likely still need, like, um, uh, emotes. Because I'm always coming up with idea for emotes. And I definitely want to make sure those are done properly, so. You would wreck a Corvid? I mean, that sounds proper. Those things are gonna, are Shrek me in a big way. I feel like putting another looper down is fine, too. I feel like that's fine. Hey, everyone including me? Yeah, I mean... When Lifesaver comes back, I want to know if this deck runs that wild spirit that rotates all your animal cards forward. Because this would be a really fun deck to play it in. Awesome! Uh, yeah, next month is... 
most likely going to be a lot better for me. Uh, uh, financially. There. Okay, good. We have a shard of Gravis now. We have all three of our items. Spore feeder, huh? Who runs spore feeder? Who does that? Okay, so if I do that, she's most likely going to use this ability. Do you think she'll draw a card? We'll see. We'll see. Oh, uh, yes, Tarek Vishka. I did do the color scheme that um, Play Fusion uh, has for their badges. She's running a, a hibernating Agama? Oh, that's amazing. She also has like a very small hand size, and I can't do anything to that. We got a bumbler. Oh my word. I just gave her something amazing. Maybe if I do this, it won't be that bad. He... Alright, what do we have? What do we have? Beast within. No! Oh my word. I'm getting shrekt. I'm getting full on shrekt. Hey, wait. So. Yeah, because, I mean, if I attack her, I just die, right? I gotta remove that. So this is, this is gonna pop my core, then. Maybe do eight while I can. And... Hope my shard of Gravis, or she doesn't have any damage in hand whatsoever. Just hope beyond all hope. Are you for real? Oh, all right. Well, last ditch effort. What do we have? Okay. Okay. Well played. Am I just done? Am I dead? Is that it? Is that it? Looks like it's it. Let's see what my shard has. Yeah, the battering ram, the battering ram helps against like control decks. Cool. We'll just do that. We'll just do that. Yeah. 
So yeah, this deck has a very hard time against aggro. Secret, secret lifesaver, don't, don't apologize. Yeah, geez, as soon as you laid that card, I literally went, well, that's game. I can't do anything now. Um, but no, yeah, that, the, uh, the, the fact, I, I almost want to say that, like, laying Battering Ram that soon is just detrimental. Also, I had the worst hand to go up against you. Like, because you're, you seemed very aggressive, obviously, uh, with all your beast animal stuff that you were doing, and I had nothing to counteract it. I had no healing or defense in this deck. My, I was very, I was very aggressive, but had almost no attack cards. So, all I was doing was helping you draw with my shard, and then doing nothing in return. All I was doing was giving you value. And trying to find something. It was, it was really difficult. That game is different if you didn't know your deck. I wouldn't necessarily say that. Just the way that... Just the way that you... That she played her deck. Seemed like she was playing it the way that she would have played it regardless. Uh, the only thing that she might have done differently is, like, use her hero ability. But otherwise, she was laying an animal buff and drawing a card, keeping her hand size down below because of I put the ram out. Yeah, I mean, you, you played that pretty much like a consistent just beast buff aggro. Laid all your beast buff damaging out, really consecutively kept your hand below six. It was just... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, you, you could tell... I, okay, uh, uh, Lifesaver. I gotta ask. Um, do you run... Uh, I think, was it Wild Spirit in that deck? You remember she has an ability when she... Oh! Do you, do you run? Uh, we'll just go in here and add... Um, do you run Wild Spirit in that deck? Probably not, because it's not a good animal card. But I feel like that would be a, a fun deck to try that in, at least. With how many, just all animal buffs you were running. Also, the, the tech for Hibernating and Gamma is very interesting. That's very interesting for Hibernating and Gamma. How often, how often do you actually just, like, lay buffs next to Agama to, to feed it, rather than just, like, letting it out? To bait buff removal? That's, yeah, that's not bad. That is not bad. Alright, well, if we waited that long to go into ranked, and it only happened because Life Saver, or Life Saver queued in, we're gonna go right back to casual, because at least there are definitely people playing casual right now. Laser Kitty, how are we doing? Welcome to the channel. You're not cute anymore? You have to go, okay. I mean, we have only about 20 minutes. Yeah, we'll try it again. We'll try, we'll try ranked one more time. We'll see how well it does if she's leaving. All right, let's let's see how this does. I don't know. Bova's turn. Oh god, don't even joke about that. We have Sir Patrick. Well, so far not off to a good start. Well, still not off to a good start. Like, I could Ashwood Diva, but someone who's fire superiority immediately makes me think he's aggro. Just fire superiority. Okay. Okay. Well. Um... Yeah. Yeah, I, f I feel like this deck... This deck definitely punishes control. With the Mantix Raiders, with the, the Battering Rams. 
All this stuff that... Really? God, two cards in hand. Battering Ram just does nothing. I this is this is not a fun hand. Woo! Okay, we got a reckless spirit. That'll that'll at least help sustain us. How was I drawing all these like decent hands and now I have almost nothing? Draga Scorcher. Oh word. I forgot he had the key. I legitimately forgot he had the key. Well, Scorcher's going away. I think we can do that. We can actually lay beasts from within. Never mind. Why would we ever do that? Whoo! Feel like doing that? Let's see what we draw. Alright, that's not bad. Six damage. Also feels pretty solid. Oh, word. Part of me says I need to do this so I don't just die next turn. I got, like, none of my items, and all of my item... Duffs. Spirit of Balance does almost nothing right now. All of his cards are buffs. Whew, we are in a bit of a pickle. Are you just all buffs? Really? What is happening right now? Raider and say buff. It's probably not a bad idea, actually. You literally like nothing but buffs this entire game, and now you only have one in your hand? Come on! Oh, and then you, of course you draw a buff. Of course you would draw a buff. Do something. ANYTHING! Am I just gonna... Yeah, he's just got a lot of attacks, doesn't he? Alright! He's got to kill me this turn or, or heal, and if he does heal, I can Spirit of Balance. Oh my god, I forgot he had the stupid key. Guys, I'm a genius. I'm a freaking genius. Freaking genius. Um, this does four. Whoo, 
Oh boy. Are you for real right now, dude? Like... What? Where I have no items. Come on. You gotta give me something here. No, regular throw, that's not your fault at all, man. That's like This was ridiculous. I had so many bad draws, and I still got him down to eight. I, I literally forgot he had the key. I legitimately forgot he had the key. How am I drawing so much worse now? Like I go into I go into these modes and I'm just I'm Is it because in ranked everyone's playing aggro which makes this not that good? My raiders aren't doing nearly as much as I want them to. Um, my battering rams are dead cards. Like, I'm, I'm sitting here going, how is this not working anymore? Whoop. I'm going to add in a crystal leech. I feel like more buff removal could be better. But yeah, how is this not working anymore? It was doing so well. And now it's just like, no, we don't, like, we're going to play against everything that counters this. And all everyone's playing right now is aggro. All anyone's playing is aggro. Mind you, I'm playing aggro, but my aggro s strictly stems from my opponent having a fairly large hand size. And the Shard of Gravis is just completely destroying that, right? Shard of Gravis is completely counterintuitive now, because all I'm doing is feeding them cards when I want card draw. So I almost don't even want the Shard, as opposed to I want the Tome. Shard, yes, draws me two cards, but like... Oh my word. All I'm doing is feeding my opponent cards for them to use and kill me. Because Battering Ram is at the beginning of my turn. Feels bad, man. Feels real bad. Didn't draw any Blacksmiths that game. Only drew one weapon, too. Like... So many things. So many things could have been better. They just weren't. They just didn't find their way into me. Did not find their way into my soul. It's gonna feel bad, but I wanna do this. I do wanna get the Fluximo in there. I guess, do I take a Crystal Leech then? Maybe I do. And add in another, add back in that Bumbler. Maybe I'll only need two Bumblers. And I can add back in that Marauder. Like, Ashwood Diva had Shade Ripper and three Blacksmiths, haven't gotten one yet. Yeah, I mean, Ashwood Diva also just feels like the same thing that it was doing with, um, um, uh, the, 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 the Shard. 
where it's, it's feeding my opponent card draw and I just can't afford that. Maybe instead I put in two tree sprouts, beta buff removal too. That'll work. Because, yeah, those, those Ashwood Divas and the, the Shard, they felt nice. But literally every match I went into... We'll play one more in Ranked. We'll play one more in Ranked. Literally every match I went into, I played aggro and I just got decimated by aggro. And right now, I feel like Ranked, a, a lot of Ranked right now is going to be aggro. In all honesty, I feel like it's just all going to be aggro. Um... Unless you're playing control decks like the Magrock one, or the Stall, a lot of people are going to be playing just a highly efficient aggro. Um, climbing ladder, A goes faster with aggro, um, and B this late at night, it, there's just no real reason not to, in my opinion. So, uh, you're still testing your aggro deck in ranked? Not bad. Mud Turtle, what deck are you playing that runs Shade Rippers and three Blacksmiths? And Randall Thor, what, uh, what deck are you testing? Cassilia deck that uses Chris Grid. Interesting. Oh my god, once again an aggro deck. An aggro deck that runs the beast buffs. Um, well, at least you got Flynamo and Looper. That works. But yeah, Port, uh... Yeah, this guy, it... It's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough. I feel like if you're running these items and you're trying to be aggro, you really have to start with a killer hand. Like, you really have to start with a killer hand or find a way to, like, survive into the late game. You know what I mean? See what we get here. Do so three actions. And a Pathfinder, okay. You mentioned your deck on Discord? I'll have to go check that out then. I mean, he's got what, seven? He'd have to lay two cards. Probably a buff and a Pathfinder or something like that. Does he bait a bath? Do I bait a Pathfinder to see what I can get? Probably not. I can just draw. Oh! 
Oh, that deck. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, that's going away. Yep, that's going right away. Oh, goodbye. Okay, got myself a bumbler. I know he has a Pathfinder in hand, though. Like, I know he does. Maybe I try to bait out the Pathfinder. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, ooh, actually, Root Singering back. Reckless Spirit and Looper could both be very happy for me. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that right now. Kind of wish I could have got a Bumbler back, but... If I can bait out a buff removal here... Laying Royal Bumbler and Fly to next turn could be just as good. Okay, Starhorn Tusker. And a Sunhugger. You know I pulled back a Reckless Spirit, right? You did see that, right? Just... Just tossing that out there. Um... Part of me just says pass. I know he's got a Pathfinder. Um, I can bait it out with the Looper. I don't know. Oh, nice. It's pretty legit. So if I call attack... Yeah, now might be one of the only times I really want to lay it. He might just start laying a bunch of cards. So he's got three attack cards in hand. Pretty cool. For real. Two salvagers and one weapon. How am I drawing my salvagers this late? Maybe in this deck with uh, me wanting to use like... Uh... Well, that ain't good. Well, that isn't good at all. I'm gonna get blown right the hell out. Oh, Lord. Lordy, 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 what do I do? Try and bait out a Pathfinder real quick. Well, I got a Crystal Core, that helps. That's pretty cool. Okay, so he's just gonna, like, shrek me. Joke's on you, buddy. So, I mean... I definitely put this into play. And then I definitely 
do this on this. Sorry. You know what would be really cool here? If I could draw a freaking another item. My god, that would be amazing. So I'm gonna take four. And he could just kill me with two attacks. Okay, there's one. And it rotates that back for, oh no it doesn't because gravity's not on top. And there's three damage. Yeah, this deck, it started off doing really well. Uh, and then all I did was go against aggro and this deck is way too slow and way too conditional to go against aggro. Just way too slow. Kind of stinks. We we have something really fun here. We have something really fun. But against aggro, it just it's dead. It's dead in the water against aggro. It cannot keep up because all the cards are pretty situational, right? A lot of the fun interactions with the battering ram, uh, with the the shard and the ashwood divas, but then your opponent just lays two cards. No, I, I did change it up, but I mean, I, I even changed it up after I was running into aggro and it still didn't do that well. Because the Ashwood Divas and the Shard only helps feel aggro against you to make you die quicker. They always keep their hand below 6 for the Battering Ram. Uh, so Battering Ram almost never hits. You don't have any healing or damage prevention, and if you're feeding them cards, they kill you. Every fun deck is dead to aggro. That's very true as the Embers. That's very true. But no, I, I, Mud Turtle, you are absolutely right. I did change the deck up from what it was. Um, but I did it to try and help counteract me losing to aggro all the time because of all the cards that were literally drawing them cards and then they would play two cards a turn and then the Battering Ram would never go into effect. So Battering Ram was pretty much a dead card and I was feeding them initiative to kill me. I really like the deck you build. I really like the deck you built, Mud Turtle. I thought it was really cool. I not thought. I think it's very cool. I think it's very cool. Um, but yeah, definitely not competitive. Yes, the fact that I'm drawing more cards is true, but I'm also not using as many actions. So like, yeah, I'm drawing cards, but then I'm really only doing one action, whereas I'm helping them also draw for free, and then they can use two actions against me. That's where that kind of kind of back and forth goes with that. Like, yeah, I'll draw two cards, they'll draw one. That's fine. So that's one of my actions where then I can lay one card. And they just got a card for free, and now they can lay two cards. And then eventually, like, I will need to be able to try and do something. Um, also, Spirit of Balance, I was going against a lot of buff aggro decks. Spirit of Balance doesn't do anything against buffs. They need to be attack or defend cards. So Spirit of Balance was, I was finding to be dead in a lot of scenarios like that. And that was just the opponents. Um... But yeah, then Battering Ram was just a dead buff. Because they kept their hand size under 6 because I was feeding them cards so they could do that. There was just, there, there was a lot of different scenarios um, where I feel like this aggro deck really punishes more control games um, where their hand size can be that large you don't care. Uh, but I was I was just finding myself like feeding initiative to my opponent in the aggro, ag the aggro v aggro matchup. I was just finding that I was literally giving them resources to kill me, and I wasn't... I wasn't aggroing them at the pace that they were killing me at. That's what I was finding. And it, it was literally Ashwood Diva and the Shard. Like, those cards, they, they seem good, but it just... I've always found them to be cards where I need to be able to utilize them, and I thought Battering Ram would definitely help. I definitely did. But against the aggro v. aggro matchup, me giving them cards to then use two cards a turn and not say like one card draw, one card draw, put their their aggression almost into overdrive against me, which is what killed me. It's just what killed me. 
Uh, also, I, I was like never drawing my items, right? I was never drawing my blacksmiths uh, to get my items out in a very appropriately fashioned way. Then my salvagers turned out to be dead cards because I didn't have the items. It was just like... And then, of course, my Vantix Raiders rely on their hand size. And if their hand size was always down... No, yeah, it's it's very just for fun. I love this deck for fun. It's amazing for fun. Um, but yeah, Mantix Raiders relies on them having a large hand size for damage. So that got cut almost in half. Uh, Salvagers, I wasn't drawing my items. Those were going dead aggro cards. So like the, 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 this aggro deck that works aggro is very conditional aggro. And I was just getting A bad matchups and A or B bad draws. So it's a it's a, it's a it's a good aggro deck, but it it did feel very conditional aggro. Um that's just that's just the way it is sometimes. That's just the way it is. Uh but guys, definitely definitely give this Bumbler deck a try. This this turned out to be a lot of fun. I had a, a blast today playing Royal Bumbler. Uh let's let's just check out the star card. We got it a level six. I feel good about that. Royal Bumbler, definitely a card that I want you guys to give a, give a shout out to. At least, if you have it or can can craft it, I would I would give it a try. Um, see what kind of fun fun decks you can build around with it. That's the that's the card of the week. The card of the week that we tried was Royal Bumbler. And we'll start doing that. Is we'll have a card of the week. We'll try and build a fun deck around. And there was the the Chrono Warper one week. Um, then there's Royal Bumbler here. Uh, what else did we try to do? I mean, we have we have heroes of the week too that we can try, but uh, Royal Bumbler definitely the card of the week. Go go check that card out. See what you can have some fun and casual. See if you had a lot of success. Feel free to share that deck on Trajor.cards. Let the community know what you came up with. Royal Bumbler, just start getting inventive. Start getting intuitive on this. Pick a card you think is fun, even if you just pick the card I chose to highlight for the week. Give it a shot of your own. Go off the basis of mine. Modify the deck. Whatever you want to do, do it. Put it on trade your cards. It's how the list will get built. It's how we'll have a lot of fun. I highly recommend doing this. Mud Turtle was a great example. Me and him both did this card. And we we both came up with some amazingly fun decks. Amazingly fun decks. So I highly recommend. Even if it's not even the card I choose, give these give these fun unique cards a shot. Play with them a little bit. Really start building into your whole deck building creativity. Guys, I had a blast today. Um, I will follow me on Twitter or my Discord, please. I will let you guys know when I'm going live next. I know Saturday, like I said, I'm going to a tournament in Ohio, so I will not be live. Third or Sunday, I work, and then I got to pack and clean and all that other stuff. So I might go live on Friday, depending on what my girlfriend's plans are. Um, if not, I will definitely be back on Monday. So check me out Monday, guys. Otherwise, follow me on Twitter, and hopefully I can get something else for the third day this week, because I know... I try and promise three days a week. So I'll try and give you three days a week. So guys, have a good one. Thank you very much for tuning in with me. I'll see you next time.